says this is for PPP. He doesn't have. I wish it was six figure. Okay, it's dog shit content. Absolute dog shit content. I think it's beyond six figures with the incentives, but that's just the reality of the deal. I mean, it was everything Keem promised and more. I mean, if the, incent if the incentives hit right, it could be seven figures. You know, but the incentives are going to have to hit. And, and, and also, how do they have $350? Whoever gave him that should feel ashamed of themselves. I accidentally spent my like I accidentally spent 700 bucks on a book once and I feel that's literally a I, I feel I'm literally in a moral position to be lecturing anyone who threw money at this on wasting cash and I've given money to homeless people I knew were going to spend it on alcohol the glory is going in the ring and fighting and training for it, you fucking dunce. Like, he's now trying to convince me that a large bag of money is... Uh, send uh, Andy Worski uh, LARPing as, like, a veteran gladiator. My God. ...in a purse is going, don't get the... Okay, we'll talk more about that in a bit. Uh... We got Medicare. Med and can I just take a moment to shame whatever stupid slut is taking the pine cone up the ass from this uh, retarded whale here? I mean, what stupid, uh, shameless bitch is sticking her head in the toilet and taking a, a literal pine cone up the ass for for this this fucking sperm whale here? I mean. I, I don't know, it, it, like, if Ashton tried to, to actually do anything with these women, he'd have a fucking heart attack. I'll show you. Sodomy is gay. I'll, here, I'll look for it, and I'll pop it up, because I want you to read this before oh, we start with our first thing. I think so that... if, if you fuck a woman up the ass, then are you still a virgin? Yeah, apparently. I mean, the, right. co the, the cope is crazy. Brilliant content here. This, this is the content we really tune in for. This is content worth paying for. You know, um, yeah, th this, this, is, uh, this is the future of comedy right here. This is, this is dog shit. This is absolute dog shit. The only way, to, yeah, no, this is like straight up like Owen Benjamin, like fan fiction. To, no, man, if if your wife sucks you off, that's gay. You can't. <laughs> your wife can't do that. The only place is the vagina. Why? Why are we getting Ashton's take on this? I, I don't know, Ashton. Is church better with or without a piano? You're, you know, you, you've got some bad takes yourself. People having sex. <clears throat> like I don't know, maybe you shouldn't be given advice when you've just disavowed like your entire body of work for like the past decade. I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it it's funny, right? Back in the day, Ashton used to say, "Listen, don't take me seriously. You shouldn't be taking advice from me." And I mean, yeah, that was true. He was it's just comedy, but he was. I mean, I literally. You could literally have more respect for what he had to say than now. I mean, A, does he respect the audience? And B, with the audience that'll tune in and pay money for this shit, should he respect them? Again, I don't think it's hypothetical, but correct. That has historically and linguistically not been considered sex, though I personally wouldn't a correct a, a colloquial use of that phrase. Hello? Why does it? Why does this exist? Why does this exist? I have to ask myself. Uh, you know, this is here. This is being made, uh, and there are um, one thousand six hundred and sixty-two people currently watching it. Um, and people gave these fuckers three hundred and fifty dollars. Um. 
And then they have a poll. Is it gay? I mean, I'll tell you what's gay. I'll, t I'll tell you what's gay. What's gay is the fact that um, there's a bunch of eight-year-olds at the park right now. And I, 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 when I'm walking the dog, sometimes I hear them. And I can literally, off the top of my head, think of conversations they've been having about fucking Dragon Ball Z that were more mature than this shit. I mean, also more entertaining. You know, the background chatter of fucking eight-year-olds talking about Dragon Ball fucking Z had 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 more actual fucking uh, depth of conversation. There was more more to think about, and I caught about maybe a minute and a half of that conversation as I was walking past. What I'm trying to convey to you here is that um, you know the content here is is uh, not up to code. You know it it's uh, it should not have been put on the shelf. This is expired material that they're selling. Why do you want to pay to watch Ashton sweat and, and heave as, as his body struggles to regulate its basic functions? Um, and also, I mean, Andy Worski, he's... Uh, What the fuck do you want me to say? All he does is say like "Wow" and "Whoa." That that's 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 literally all he provides. Oh, interesting. Yeah. That's an interesting yeah, choice. I'm... Interesting. Yeah, that's that's interesting, huh? Oh, yeah. Huh, huh. Yeah, I see that. Right. That 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 that's Andy Worski. I come out dressed as the Fuhrer, and you know, to... <laughs> no. I think. I think I'm coming out with the trans flag yeah, right over my yeah. shoulders. Yeah, that would be funny. I think I'll have rainbow oh, I, hair. I'll dye my hair. No, um, it's it's happening. I'll we're pierce my out. nipples. We're gonna speak for progressive truth and justice in the O2 arena, and those fans will recognize the power of social justice. You know, I um, I really don't care what you guys do. I. I get that it would be a joke at the expense of the left. I get that. Um, it's not fucking funny, though. None of this content is funny. Um, none of this content is good. Now, admittedly, you know what? No, no, it doesn't deserve that. It, I would rather listen to Cancer Man read Super Chats. I would legitimately... Rather listen to the smooth, dulcet tones of uh, Internet Aristocrat as he repeatedly reads 1488 and like comments about Jade's pussy and shit. That that would honestly be more entertaining to this. You know, I could fall asleep to that at least. This shit. This is like. Uh, just like an annoying noise that's going off in the background of the room, like an alarm. If you've ever been at the office and there's like an alarm, like um, on the floor beneath below you or on the other side of the building or in the parking lot, some car has been going off and just won't shut up. You know, the only way I can fucking enjoy the content is, at this point it, it is, to, is to snipe it and talk over it. As a bunch of assholes fill my chat and, and, and call me all sorts of fucking shit like a monster and a criminal. Speaking of, let's go over to that chat. And yeah, I've been playing some No Man's Sky. Finally figured out how to, you know, light the bases. It's, that, that game doesn't really hold your hand much. But I really do need to get back into Elden Ring, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, something like that. Uh, so anyway, uh, let's see here. Um, Ashton openly admits to being a liar, yet so many people follow him because whilst he says I'm a liar, don't respect me, in the same breath he criticizes people using the Bible. Yup. 
Yeah, no, the, the thing is, people want to believe Ashton, like Jim, has this very particular quality. Ashton has a very likable personality, but Ashton doesn't like himself, and as a result, he doesn't like any of you, and he really hates the people who like him. Remember, if you think Ashton Parks is cool, Ashton Parks hates you because you like something he despises, right? And he has the mind of an eight-year-old. Uh, you can't get big unless you're in some way serving the establishment. That's clear to see by now. Well, yes, Rick Perry. Yeah, that's true. But the establishment is never going to let anyone from this side of anything into the club. In order to get into the establishment, you either have to genuinely believe in the agenda. And that's not these, the, those people are expendable. They've got uh, true believers out the ass. Quislings are destined to file and they are all for sale. Um, but, you know, uh, to quote Astral Doors. But, but the whole point of, uh, that I'm making here is, is that uh, the best way to get ahead in today's world is to not have any fucking principles at all while seeming like you are the greatest champion of the current and popular cause, right? You have to be the biggest fake sack of shit if you want to float to the top. Uh, I do not have it in me. I am not willing to suck the prerequisite amount of dick to get ahead financially in this world. I've made my peace with that. Look, Grim Cheers, the next piece of the Theological Fathers series um, could literally get my channel terminated. Like, if I, if I continue the Theological Fathers series, we're leaving the 1800s and going into more, like, 1960s to 1980s, and I'm not sure that YouTube will allow the content that I would want to make, right? I'm I'm pretty sure that content, if I were to make it, look, I intend to make, yes, I do intend to, to create the, the, the last installments of the Theological Fathers series, but um, you know, um, yeah, it's just a risky thing to continue because of the content that would contain. Um, you know, we're getting into some pretty, uh, pretty, um, yeah, I just think now would not be a good time for me to be, uh, doing, um, doing that. There, there's, there's a few other streams I really want to do, but it's just not the appropriate time to be doing that. But no, that will happen. Uh, when the day arrives that I can make that content, I've got some great content I'm going to make for y'all. Yeah, yeah, that, um, I, I do, I do have, um, other channels. It, it, it's, it, it's, um, you know, there's multiple reasons, uh, Giga Chad, that I'm not really looking to make that content right now. Um, there's a lot of content I want to make, but, um, you know, now's not the greatest time for that. Anyway, getting back to, um, to this. <laughs> All right, let's check it. Tonight I am enjoying kielbasa and Worcestershire sauce. Ethan exists on another plane. Ethan lives on another plane of existence. I mean, I mean, he does in a way live on another plane of existence. He lives on the lol cow retard plane of existence where his whole life is a fucking final destination movie for the audience's enjoyment around the world. And now, I told my dad I wanted him to get some good Worcestershire sauce, and he asked me why, and I said, well. I want to make a prairie oyster. And he looks at me like I'm nuts. And he says, do you have any idea what that is? And I tell him, yeah. 
raw egg, black pepper, Worcestershire sauce. Pretty good. He thought it was, um, well, he thought it's a goat's testicle. That's a, that's a Rocky Mountain oyster, not a prairie oyster. <laughs> Big difference. Anyway. Unleavened bread, the emblems of Christ's sacrifice. It's the same reference that I would do that with my voice that he's doing for Ethan Ralph, <laughs> which is insane. Like, Ethan Ralph is his own personal Jesus Christ, his own Messiah. He'll I don't actually, even think Gator actually... went this far. Yeah, I don't even think Gator went this far, bro. Like, this is fucking whacked. Like, you guys think, oh, Ashton may be exaggerating right now. No, no, no. He's about to say something in about 20 seconds that is actually the craziest thing I've ever heard anyone say if they're saying it seriously. Uh, hang on, my cat wants to step out one second. This is his life, guys. This is Big Tech's life. He beat his wife and child, went to prison, has to live with his fucking parents, right. and his whole life is Ethan Ralph. Okay. His whole life. Just imagine that your income in life, your status in life, everything in your life depends on Ethan Ralph's success. <laughs> oh my god! Well, it's actually, it's a it's like whoa, whoa, Ashton, back the fuck up, fat ass. Massive cell phone, massive cell phone. That's you. That's literally fucking you and like a bunch of other dudes. Or nutty. Of reality. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Hang on. Holy plane. fuck, man. He's like, looks like Marshall Applewhite with his eyes there for a second. <laughs> buddy, buddy, you are more, you are a bigger barnacle on Ethan Ralph's nutsack than this guy ever will be. Just being real here. Just being real. You know what? Just real fast. He has a point. He makes a point there. Ralph does live in his own plane of reality because... Everything he says is delusional and makes no sense to any what? other human being. It's true. He's everything, right on that. Every, everything he says isn't... Okay, so that... You know, I played Dungeons & Dragons as well. And I remember... Um, I'm, I'm not too familiar with what the rules are uh, on in, in regards to the kill stream. I'm pretty sure the kill stream is... In Dungeons and Dragons terms, a specific uh, region of Pandemonium, and um, I, I think um, it, it's strongly chaotic, evil aligned. Um, you know, fuck's sake! There's so little that can be said. I can't really melt this for jokes. It's it's garbage. It's already at the level of parody. Yeah. It's fucking beyond. Because we'll say jokes that sort of like exaggerate, you know, for comedic exaggeration. This is like, I can't think of the... In fact, he's about to say something crazier somehow than that. Not kidding. Watch. Ethan is... He's not a god, but he's made of the same stuff that the gods are made of, if you know what I'm saying. What the I don't fuck? know what you're saying. What? Yeah, this guy's a... He's a goblin. Are you full conviction? Just look into his eyes, chat. Massive downgrade from Gator. Gator didn't attack children. You know, Gator didn't get put in his place by fucking Beardson. Look around you, there are many things to see that I would say should never be. These fags I know, they are gay and I will tell you so. They're a bunch of queers, you must believe. Trolls and gizzards and fairy kings, fags that bitch and fish that sing. All right, I'll stop. David the Gnome, uh, the theme song. Whenever I, I see Beardson or Keemstar or this fucker here, they're gnomes. They're fucking leprechauns, man. And uh, 
they don't they don't belong on on your YouTube channel. They belong in your garden. I think what what Ethan Ralph the mistake he made is that Ethan Ralph was probably you know doing some weird ass drugs that Pantsu gave him. Well, and, and she's got him out doing God knows what out in the fucking fairy faggot forest. Probably, I don't know, going to one of the, the, those fucking pick your own fruit farms. Or whatever bitches like to do. Uh, I, I, I don't know. That's where I used to take um, my Jewish yenta back in the day. when I, before, before I started attending the uh, massage parlors, I had a Jewish girlfriend. And I used to take her, uh, take her cherry picking. Uh, I'm sure that's a metaphor for something, but no, I mean literally cherry picking. But anyway, I don't know where the fuck uh, Ethan Ralph encountered fucking gnomes, but like, I, I mean, he, he must have rolled a natural 20 or something because he got a gnomish companion as like a freebie as part of of some quest or something. It's like, you know, sometimes when you're playing Skyrim, by the end of it, you've got all sorts of weird shit from, from the quests you've done and the mods you've installed. And sometimes there's some weird little fucking creature following you. That's this. That's Ethan Ralph's fucking modded companion, right? After he fucking Fosrodad Gator off a fucking cliff, he had to mod in this fucker to replace him and carry his shit. Sty God, wait, whatever you want to call him. Ashton. Didn't Ralph give some Gambian... I don't know what the fuck they said, but I'm willing to bet that, bet that listening to me uh, just talk to myself, rant to myself about Ethan Ralph and Skyrim, I bet it's actually more fucking entertaining than whatever these retards are coming up with. And that's sad. That's sad that my schizophrenic, random-ass thoughts would be more entertaining to listen to than something people have so far paid $390 to experience. Um, you know what? I, I really need to start a Patreon so people can listen to me piss and flush the toilet. Because that would honestly be worth more than this. He goes Apollo, Ares, Zeus, Aphrodite, Hermes, Poseidon, Hera, <laughs> and Ethan Ralph Artemis. He's on that plane. He's on that He's in the Pantheon. We look up at You don't know your fucking Dungeons and Dragons. The kill stream is part of the Pandemonium uh, layer, so that would mean it's ho home to daemons. They're neither Tannery nor Beta Zoo. Yeah, yeah, I played a lot of Dungeons and Dragons. Have a laugh. Have a laugh at my fucking expense. I really actually I want to get a game set up because uh, the reason I stopped playing Dungeons and Dragons was around 4th edition or 5th edition, whatever it was, where they tried to basically rip off World of Warcraft. They tried to make it World of Warcraft the tabletop, right? Um, well, they fucked the pooch on that one. And uh, I just couldn't fucking respect the lore to the series anymore. It just seemed like... Um, 4 right? But there's two different, um, two different tabletops based on Dark Souls coming out. Now, I threw away all my Dungeons & Dragons shit, and I swore I'd never buy any of that crap again, except I, I've kept a few vintage items, but for the most part, that shit's rotting in the garage. But I'm thinking, I might actually play this new Darkest Days if it ever gets fucking launched. I'm not going to pay for it while it's Kickstarter. Fuck that. But they're also making a, a, an official uh, Dark Souls role-playing game. Um, I might pick that up. I might see if some of my friends... But then again, the people I used to play with, I'm still in contact with them. But they're a bunch of drunk retards now. I don't think they could play a tabletop game. If I tried to sit them down for that, they'd be sloshed before we got through the first fucking act. No There's no one that says delusional. And I'm sober now, so that's no fun. And back the last time, if the game was a bust, I mean, I had a girlfriend, so I could go home and do that. So, I mean, now it's like, well, 
I don't know. I don't think uh, playing a round of D&D &D with the boys is going to put me in the mood to go visit Alice. I, I just don't. The three hours of Ralph pleading with me to not fight. <laughs> three hours. He's like, I don't think you should do this, Warski. Like, now he's trying try to give me friendly advice. <clears throat> Bro, this is what I'm doing, man. That's what I'm made for. Anyway. All right. Here we go. Boy, we weren't lying about this clip, by the way. Where are we, folks? Arc. No. Arc. Well, B Beardson's got his work cut out for him to be more delusional than this. I'm just saying. I haven't seen that yet. I haven't seen that one. I, th I think it is a competition. Okay. Oh, is, is it? All right. I haven't it seen is. that. So that was you know, uh, no one likes big tech. Like, his fucking introduction is being a fucking guy who attacks little kids. It's fucking stupid to have big tech in your corner. Um, what more can I say? This is, uh, you know, Ethan Ralph ain't making a good decision by having this retard um, in his corner, but it seems to be working. What can I say? These retards are spurging out about it. Um, whereas otherwise, I'd never give a shit about this uh, ghoul. Star needs to call in a 5150, like, <laughs> crisis check. Somebody has to. Somebody, Somebody help this man. <laughs> this is, this is this scary. Lost, I, a great man of legend, Alexander the Great, Julius Caesar, Ethan Oliver Rapp. <laughs> the same pantheon of great legends that inspired the world. <sighs> Leonidas at uh, Thermopylae pales in comparison. Uh, His brave 300. Yeah. The legions of the Hold on. For fuck's sake. Create quickly. Leonidas, like. You're killing Leonidas. Yes, Warriors of the Shire did a very good job. He deserves all sorts of credit for that. Um. What what what's left to be said? Ashton is a fat, boring piece of shit. Who doesn't have an original idea in his head? You're actually killing me today, they will, bro. They will, they will fight in the shade that the gun guard provides. Holy <laughs> fuck. Oh my god, this is so funny. I'll read Donald's in a sec, Holy shit, this is killing me, bro. Man of great renown. <laughs> of great renown. Like, his reputation is so impeccable. So Ethan Ralph is known. Uh, Ethan Ralph, um, in a fair society, in a society that was not completely skewed to the left, Ethan Ralph would easily be a millionaire. Uh, Ethan Ralph um, is only um, where he is now because the system is rigged. So, I mean, take your shots at Ethan Ralph where it's appropriate, but if you're determined to play the villain in his story, it's easy to be a worse person than Ethan Ralph. Just ask Chaggett. Just ask Chaggett. Um, you know, that's one thing I appreciate about Ethan Ralph is your solution is to, to kick Chaggett off the internet to shun him, to, to call him a wrongen, as Godwinson put it, and let that be the end of it. Well, there's a lot more to be had from this retard. And because we don't have to... Um... You see, this is how I honestly think a lot of people, and you know who they are, but I think a lot of people should be treated like this, you know. Chaggett is more than willing to be tortured, to be lit on fire, to be maced, to be beaten up, to be kicked in the nuts, so and all for the for for, for not even not even um, the promise of fame, but the the, the 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 you just I can't even say for the illusion of it. You don't even have to lie effective effectively. Chaggett's a retard, and he's also evil. So he's in that that interest, and he's a fool. So, not only is it okay to laugh at him, but really, he is less than human. And 
he is not someone who deserves or requires pity. Even if you were to show him pity, it would do him no good, and he would not even be able to comprehend what it was, because Chagat doesn't understand why what he did was wrong. So, you know, Chagat is a source of clean schadenfreude. You can laugh at Chagat's misery almost, almost without a limit because of what he is. And there's never a point where you'll be in a morally gray area for doing it. And Ethan Ralph knows that that can be exploited. All you have to do is promise, oh yeah, everyone will accept you again. All you have to do is, you know, stand here and let everyone in this line take a shot and kick you in the nuts, right? And he'll probably do it. And the best part is, the best part is, is the more you fuck with Chagat, the more you fuck with his, his father, who's a real piece of shit. You know, uh, Dylan Volk's father is the hand up the ass of the puppet that molested the kids. So, um, take that as you fucking will. Uh, you know, my opinion is when someone's created a Frankenstein, destroy the monster, sure, but also burn down the fucking lab it came from. You don't need that thing coming back next autumn. Or, God forbid, that asshole builds a wife for it. Uh, anyhow, just me ranting. Let, let, let's hear more of this shit because, you know, there's 2,000 people. Over 2,000 people have shown up to hear this, so. What's the one that comes from Cactus? Uh, a peyote. Peyote. This isn't any of those things, bro. Also masculine. Masculine also comes from cactus. And it's a lot more fun than peyote. It's a lot lighter. Look, I, I would I would strongly rec yeah, people are saying mescaline in the chat. I would strongly recommend mescaline to anyone who's interested in hallucinogenics. Don't do acid. Don't do some shit where you don't know what the fuck's in it. You know just just take some cactus juice. And, uh... <sighs> I would also like to state that um, as I am currently redeeming myself in the eyes of the Latter-day Saints Church, I do not advocate any of you going out and getting high on mescaline, regardless of how awesome and fun it is to do that. Fucker who's delusional ever, I would say. On the internet, at least. He's like... He's maybe like a like the like same level as chris chan at this there's, point i mean yeah there's like chris chan uh i don't know who else is in that same category of madness ralph but. and um uh th th that diaper guy chew diaper chew that weird fuck remember that and, and esoteric shaggy is a mess how many drugs i've done I grew up in California, in the Bay Area of California, all right? I, I, other than the shit that, that, that literally has warning, this will fuck up your life on it. Like, I've never done anything that burned a hole in my brain uh, or uh, fucking, you, you know, what will, will cause me to, to fucking rip off my own skin. I, I was never... Willing to do the stupid drug. Well, okay. Okay, back before before I knew how to get high like an adult. Uh, you know, back back when my idea of being an adult was getting a hand job from my girlfriend um, in, in the back rooms at the local mall. Uh, <laughs> I used to like to get high on something called Coracetin, which would essentially just make you feel really weird and make it so you couldn't piss for like five hours, even if you really had to. Um, it's an incredibly stupid thing to do. And I, I'm, and, and I actually am not kidding here. Don't do that. Don't huff gas. Don't get high on cough syrup. But other than that, esoteric, uh, I've done mescaline, uh, marijuana, THC in pretty much every form it comes in.
Other than alcohol, that's it. Uh, I won't touch Coke. Uh, won't do any of the other hard drugs. Um, have not done peyote. I've always wanted to. Uh, I won't do acid. Won't do... Uh, yeah, there's just too much of this shit. It's not worth a good time. You know, if that shit burns a permanent hole in your brain, that you have to be stupid to take that. That fucking maims you. It's not worth a good time. Apparently, he smokes one joint, and he loses his, his sanity. I mean, I can assume it does make him go more insane, because if it makes him worse than this, that's fucking nuts. If this is him sober, this is fucked. I, I hope he's high here for his sake. No, no. Uh, first off, it was an exhibitionist. The local mall has a bunch of unused back rooms that no one ever goes into. And teenagers are always doing stuff in there, you know. At least they were back when I was a teenager. You know. Like. I hate to say it. And this is really fucked up. But in California. When you start having sex and doing drugs. You typically do it in a really wrong and immature way. Um, <laughs> that's the only... We don't have very good parenting skills uh, out, out, out here. So uh, people grow up basically figuring shit out for themselves. Um, but the reason we were doing Mescaline is because this girl happened to, you know, have a lot of that specific cactus in her backyard. So she always had access to it. And because... She always had ask, access to just tons of mescaline. And I, I could go over there and also have a good time with her as well. I never really had much of a need um, to experiment all too much. For example, I've never done shrooms. I, all my friends have done shrooms. But the one time I had the opportunity to do it, they also had mescaline. So I just did the mescaline. Uh, and I've only done mescaline like four times. It's not like I was doing that shit every other day. Um, I'll tell you this about that too. Unless you've got a girl with you and you're between the ages of 18 and 24, there's no reason to, to do drugs. Realistically, the only reason to get high to any real degree, right, is if you're between the ages of 18 and 24, and you're going to be screwing a pretty girl. Other than that, I just don't know why you'd waste the time. I really don't. I really don't. By the time you're older than that, uh, drugs is drugs, sex is sex. There's nothing new to be gained from the experience. And, uh, like, for example, I would never take mescaline today, realistically. I just, I'm too old for it. I grew out of that shit. It's juvenile. People don't have a nervous system. You get boring when you get older. What can I say? You know, suitable or even able to withstand the effects without becoming retarded and gay. But for Ethan, it just is, it's an it's an enhancement. It's a it just puts a flourish. It's like a nice polish or coat of wax. All right, so I like ear juice. I have no problem with ear juice personally, but no, Cog won. Cog ultimately won. Uh, Cog definitively won. Uh, and Shaggy, in a way, also won there too because Shaggy was correct, you see. Uh, the thing about me and Ear Juice, the reason Ear Juice's people started disliking me to begin with, because I was not on board with calling Cog a lol cow. I would post these huge fucking essays in the chat about why Cog was not a lol cow, and everyone thought I was being annoying, because it didn't really matter whether Cog was funny or not. The goal was to bully Cog. The goal was to shit on Cog. But Shaggy rightly predicted 
right? Shaggy rightly pointed out that the chat is retarded. And the creators might realize that Cog isn't really a lol cow. But the, the chat won't get it. Chat is fucking stupid. Chat is fucking retarded. So, um, you know, chat will naturally, uh, and because they are the majority, they will effectively alter the meaning of the term lol cow turning it into a, a term that just means retard or idiot. You know, it means person I don't like now. For example, uh, I get called a lol cow because there's certain people who don't like me on here. Esoteric shaggyism considers me a lol cow. But um, can I actually be milked for laughs? Well, well no. I think that if any of my A-logs were to show my content to someone and say, isn't this guy despicable? Don't you hate him? And like, a lot of people wouldn't get it. They'd be like, what are you watching this? This is boring as fuck. It's just some weirdo on the internet. Now, back in the day, a lol cow was someone who was uh, a legitimately a human oddity. Uh, an, uh, an anomaly, an abnormality, an ab aberration. Uh, that's that's what it what it used to mean anyway. Uh, but but now now because uh, of just bullshit really. Um, well, again, the term like racist has lost its meaning. I mean, if I called anyone in this chat a racist. Would you be offended? Would you be shocked? No. And that's not because you you are you would be proud to be called a racist. It's because that term has lost any bite. It, it yeah, I am eccentric. I'll say that any day. I'm eccentric as fuck. I might actually be a little bit fucking unhinged. But the truth is I have no milk to give. Right? What are you really going to laugh at? What lore is there? I mean, I'm not going to fuck a, a blow-up doll and shout Jule for you. I'm not going to troon out. But then here's the deal, right? Did John Michael Kelly really fucking troon out? Do I have to give PPP the win there? Do I have to take the golden win off of my, my shelf? and mail it to PPP on the John Michael Kelly thing? Was John Michael Kelly actually a transsexual all along? I, I'd really like to know. Is, is that... Uh, like, um... I, 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 uh... I really... I'd be shocked on that. Like, holy fuck. If JMK became a trans... And what's this shit I hear with Jesse Lee Peterson being gay? Like, this is the shit that they should be talking about, right? Jesse Lee Peterson is gay. JMK apparently, um... You know, he went on a gender bender. Um, cut his dick off. Now... Who knows whether this shit is true? Who knows? But these assholes need to just, you know, unsub from Daka Daka and subscribe to Drunken Surfer. That's where the show is, really. I mean, the sort of content... Realistic, I'm, I, no offense to Surfer, but the show is ten times better with PPP and Surfer in that environment. But it's like Surfer's show is the quirky spinoff. Like the Joey show that came after Friends. Whereas this is like a totally different show that has the same actor from the old show. Right? But isn't anything like that. It's like... Um,
fuck. It, it's like, uh, it's bullshit. It, it's like comparing an old episode of Star Trek to an old episode of Third Rock from the Sun just because they both have William Shatner. It's not the same fucking thing. In, in fact, it's, um, one of those two things is absolute dog shit, in my opinion. Just like the Kino Casino. Them, you know? It's that real New Jersey phenotype. You know? Even though I don't think Big Tech's from New Jersey, he has that phenotype of someone from New Jersey. Uh, All right, is this, the, be is this the Beardson delusion? Listen to this shit, folks. Like, I haven't seen this. Are we doing, are we doing a, um, a place for bets after? Well, back into the magical land of gnomes. Back where pixies and and witches, and nymphs and wonders dance and and oh wait, no, no, I'm sorry. It's it's a place where a short, angry little bearded man shouts obscenities in a cave. <laughs> sorry, this isn't quite the the pixie forest. This is the pixelated forest. A little bit different there. You know, they've got nymphs, but that's on a different website, and I can't really show that here. Uh, different sort of content, but we do have a gnome. A very angry gnome. Just trying to hang out. Okay, that's, oh, he never that's stuck his nose in between other people's dramas and got involved mm. in it when he shouldn't really have. He wasn't yeah. called the... The was it the bulldog of AF who would go the after the bulldog him. of AF and the guy who did the drama or any of, no no that who was he the, no, that's, uh, that's that's pretty delusional Andy but just wait he's uh, about bulldog of AF I don't I don't think they have a bulldog at AF I think uh, AF is more more about cat boys I, I think they're cat people specifically they're cat boys but still cat people you know I don't think I don't think they they have bulldogs over there. Um, you know, uh, I think they might have a few bears. There might be a few bears over there. I don't think, and bulldogs, no. No, uh. Oh, for fuck's sake, what did I just do? Gee, about me? Do I, when you look at Beardson Beardley, do you think, uh, this guy's gonna fuck my bitch? Is that like. No, no, I don't think that. I think this guy is a fucking bitch. That, that's what I think. It, it sounds similar, but totally different meaning. You know, if you spoke a foreign language and you heard, you heard me talking, you might, you might mistake that. But when I hear Bear, Beardson, when I think of you, I, I think uh, Beardson, what I think is, I don't think this guy's going to fuck my bitch. I think this guy is a fucking bitch. Um, but, you know, you, you might have some level of, of telepathy there. That might be some level of ESP. You know, the words fucking bitch do come to mind when people look at you. So if, if that's what you're, you're sort of sensing, that, that people are, are thinking the words fucking bitch, what, you might actually have some level of Jedi powers, but they're not worried you're going to cuckold them. They're questioning whether or not you actually have a penis. Uh... <laughs> They're grabbing your fucking girlfriend. Every girl is whispering I... over to their boyfriend, going, "Hey, look how small that guy is." You know, I, I um, what we we have reached uh, maximum gay. We have we have meet reached uh, the, the maximum gay. Uh, that um, you know, we we cannot descend any further into the depths of faggotry we see here. Um, you know, um. Shaggy's uh, yellow submarine here is is not built to withstand uh, th this amount of of, uh, of pressure here in the depths, and we're going to have to have to come up for air now. We're going to have to uh, you know end this because um, the the pure Lovecraftian faggotry that, that this has become. It is literally beginning to fray my sanity. I'm, I'm beginning to feel like Randolph Carter, right? Only the color out of space, uh, it, it's pink. It's pink, and it's spelling out the wor words gay. And I can't take it. I just, I just, I just can't. I, I, for the sake of my sanity, this needs to end. You know, uh... uh
thankfully, thankfully, unlike in the story stories of Lovecraft, I don't feel I need to write this down. You know, there are some things that man was not meant to know, but there are also some things that man doesn't need to know. And I think whatever the fuck is going on here in the Kino Casino follow, falls under the latter category, you know. Um, there's no Lovecraftian evil to be seen here, just, just uh, the banality of evil, just a petty fucking grift. Anyway, uh, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not going to listen to uh, to another gnome who thinks that he's Duke Nukem. Because realistically, that's that's the attraction with Beardson. Beardson looks in the mirror and he he sees an Astartes space marine where what, what what's actually what what he's actually dealing with is, is the body of a hobbit. Like he's literally a fucking hobbit. Um, you know. I, I I think that that halflings and hobbits belong in, in in stories about elves and dragons and sorcery uh and champions, but you know, that's not what I come to YouTube for, right? That's that's not really why I'm here. Look, uh, I, I, um, uh, I'm hoping, uh, you know, hey, next Wednesday, next Wednesday, we're going to have another weapon unboxing. Uh, I'm getting a, you know, the, it, it is again from M48. United Cutlery, but I bought a combat saber. Uh, now, technically, the saber has two moves that you can perform that you cannot perform with the epee or the foil. Or the rapier. I think the rapier is, is just... Um, I forget whether a rapier is, it's a foil, but it's longer or short. I think it's a bit shorter. But the uh, uh, the epe, which I think is an, an S-stock is also, no, an S-stock is longer. I've never used that. I, I think you have to be like, that's like a mounted sort of weapon. But the, uh, the saber, interesting thing is you can perform, I, I think it's like two, maybe three other, um, uh, strikes, uh, moves that you, you do not perform with the, uh, foil or the epi. Uh, now, uh, I, I'm not enrolled in a class and I haven't practiced fencing in like six years, but I'm watching YouTube videos and I can sort of mimic what I see there. So I, I, I can kind of see a, a relatively how it's done. And, uh, as soon as I have a job, I'm going to get back into fencing and maybe I'll upload some uh, some footage of me totally getting felted at it or, you know, actually doing good. Uh, depends who I go up against. Again, I don't think, I'm not going to tell you I'm Zorro. I, I was a middling level duelist. I was certainly not shitty at it. I, I would not put time into something I sucked at. But, uh, no, there's people who have skill far beyond anything I'll ever have. And most of those people are fucking Asian. <laughs> uh, but anyway, thank you for, uh, listening to my bullshit. Uh, if I've said anything here that would destroy my life, please don't re-upload it. Uh, um, you know, all of my critics are pedophiles. And I'll see you around. So, hello. Now, one of the things that I feel is really, really, really fucking important is when you fuck up, you own the fuck up. If you make a mistake, it is up to you to correct said mistake. And even when that's going to get you a lot of shit thrown your way, it is still important to do it. Because the only one who can take away uh, your accountability and your honor is you yourself. 
So this one actually goes out to Righty. Uh, he watches everything I do. I know that. You hate watch me all you want. I don't care. Hi, Dagger. How's it going? Yeah, Righty, I fucked up. And I apologize because I fucked up. What, pray tell, did I fuck up on? The person who actually contacted my publisher. The person who actually was the one behind my website. Um, Manny Mo, yay! Just the very person I would love to see. When you come in, everything gets all sparkly and it makes me happy. But, yeah, so the person that, that did these things stepped up, admitted what had happened. Um, we're actually on decent speaking terms again. And I'm not going to mention who it is because they're trying to distance themselves. It's Kaylee. Um, I love me some Kaylee. She's fuzzy. But the, so this person has stepped up and owned, uh, owned what they did. They don't want to be any further involved. They don't want their name dragged into it because they're going through enough bullshit right now. And so, um, y you know, I, I'm not going to share my source. I'll take that shit to the grave. So that's another thing I'm known for. Somebody tells me something in confidence, I don't talk out of school. But yeah, so Righty, you didn't do those things. I apologize to you for thinking that you did those things. But motherfucker, you son of a bitch. You sure as fuck doxed me. You fucking have a, you know, I went through your whole fucking uh, uh, Twitter history from a year ago. You're a goddamn piece of shit. Do you not understand? Do you not understand how goddamn dangerous it is in the state of Arizona and in the United States at, at large to, to drop someone's docks? Because there are a couple of people that are batshit loco, you know, other than you. Hey, Suit, how's it going? I'm so glad you're here. So yeah, in this country, it's really fucking dangerous to dox somebody because you never know if some goddamn crazy is going to fucking show up with a blade or a gun or, or, you know, or whatever. Hey, Shaggy! Glad to see you! But yeah. God, I got some awesome fucking people in here tonight. I love the fuck out of you guys. Like, seriously? But yeah, um, you don't fucking do that. You do not fucking do that. And you sure as fuck don't then turn around and encourage people to call animal control. I know that happened because I saw you did it. I saw you do that shit. Hey, Ghost of Niccolo, great to see you. So your bells is pissed off. But being pissed off doesn't mean that I am not going to accept that I fucked up and I accused you of something that you did not do. And I apologize for that because doing that shit is wrong. Yes, and um, <clears throat> Minnie Mo and Coffee Creamer say, you know, both spoke about swatting. Swatting is evil. Swatting is, is just absolute psycho shit behavior. Unfortunately, this community seems to be full of psycho shits. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Rhetorical you, not not any one particular person. Certainly not the people in side chat are being so nice. Jesus Christ, I had somebody earlier, you know, like, a, a, like yesterday, I believe it was yesterday, a day before maybe, suddenly fucking snap on me. And then ask another person to also fuck with me. And the reason why she did it, she was drunk. She was having a bad fucking day. What the fuck is this behavior? Why the fuck is this being normalized? Why are people just kind of sitting back and letting this happen without saying something? Well, I'm saying something. 
Uh, Kaylee, yes, righty docks me during the cat thing. Or just before. I can't remember when exactly I learned that he had done so. But I went back through his Twitter history bigger than shit. My cats were never in any danger. My cats never will be any in any danger. I mean, Jesus Christ, yeah, one has died. Um, she was 17 years old. That is about 90 in cat years. She had a big, long, fun, moving around all over the place, sometimes going to cons with me when I was feeling bad. Uh, she had a fantastic life. Yeah, S.O. Shaggy Terracism. One what? Um, won back my friendship? Yeah. Did we wind up communicating in a healthier way? Sure. Do I like the hell of the guy? Obviously. And I don't walk away from my fucking friends. Shaggy's my friend. Please don't ask that of me. Um, and uh, Kaylee says he was comparing no AC in an apartment to being locked up in a car in summer. And he's a fucking idiot. And I can show the proof of that it never got any hotter than 89 degrees. People. Cats evolved in Libya. That's where the species originated. You think Libya might be just a little bit hotter than 89 degrees? You dumb motherfucker. And Jesus Christ. Now, when nobody can understand you. Um, Shaggy says something interesting here. I think it's ironic or referencing the wildly, widely held belief among my A-logs that I think this game has a definitive winner's bracket. And Kaylee's speaking about cats, says they are desert animals. That's where they evolved. That's where they come from. They come from that whole area in about northeastern Africa. Um, it could have been 100 degrees in here. I would be dead. My cats would be feasting on my corpse. That's actually a thing. Unfortunately, when you die around a cat, it's going to eat your face first. But I'm not going to care about that because I ain't in the meat. If Bells is dead, the cats can come and feast until somebody comes to rescue them. Yeah, A-logging, it's just like irrational hate of people. Shaggy can probably define it better than I can. You know what? You know what? I'm going to do something real stupid. So, yeah. If you want to come up on stream and you're not a complete fool, I'll let you up. And Shaggy says of, of A-logging, it's trolling, but without talent. My grasp on it is not only is it that, it is also very malicious in intent. It is not meant to just piss someone off and be like, oh, yeah, so-and-so's dickhead. You know, like they, they said that I was fat. No kidding. Um, what, what Whitey has been doing to me for a solid year, an entire motherfucking goddamn year has been A-logging. Comes from the whole Christian thing. Let me look up the guy's name again. Hang on a second. Let's get into the quickie. Yeah, I know where it came from. All right. According to the quickie, and these guys would know, um, it's named after Anthony A. Log Logato, and it's a term to describe the act of overplaying or exaggerating the negative traits of someone lulzy at irrational levels. I'm lulzy. I know that. 
I know people consider me a lol cow, some of them. But here's the thing. I don't care. I don't care. You guys can think whatever the fuck you want from me. I've got more talent. R rhetorical you, not anyone in the side chat. I've got more talent in my little finger than, than some of these motherfuckers have in their entire motherfucking body. Tonight is the night of a motherfucker. But you're going to hear it a lot. You might hear cunt, and you might hear douche waffle, and you might hear spunk trumpet. Because this shit burns my ass up. Anyway. So that's where the term A-logging came from. And since that came into being, it seems to me that that's gotten normalized. That's, that's being seen as, oh, well, this is just the internet. This is what people do. No, it's not what fucking people do. This is not a you social behavior. This is ridiculous. This is even potentially, as I said before, dangerous. I mean, I had animal fucking control standing in this living room about where I'm sitting here in my in, in my wheelchair. I had them go through every single room in the house. I had them check the cat's food. I had them check their litter boxes, which were sparkly clean. Thank gods I had gotten the urge to do that just a few hours before they showed up. Cat's litter box gets scooped twice a day. They are very well treated. They are very well attended to. And you can fucking see it in them. You can see the bright eyes and the shiny coats. Hang on a second. And, you know, the suit just sent me something. I want to address it. I am going to address it in, in, in extremely explicit terms. The pedo slinging has to fucking stop. I don't care who it is. Unless there is actual proof that this person is creeping on somebody that's under 18, I don't want to hear the shit. I don't really care that much about, you know, like a 16 or 17 year old being with somebody that's like 20 or 21. It's not that big of a difference. But exploitative relationships, you know, they happen not just because of age. Now, that said, Shaggy, you know I care about you. You know I, I have fought for you. You know that, that recently I, I have been very concerned. I check with you just about every every day to make sure that you're all right. Please, for the love of gods and everyone, stop pedo slinging. It's not helping you. It's not making any of the rest of them see you in any better of a light. In fact, it's making things worse. The shit I hear being said about you, and a lot of it is because of the pedo slinging. Everybody and their pet fucking lizard. No, well, you know, yeah, lizard. I don't know. Everybody and their pet fucking lizard knows that suit yourself is not a pedophile. Everybody and their pet fucking lizard knows Chauncey is also not a pedophile. Please stop saying that. It isn't true, and it can get people hurt. And I don't want it. And, you know, I'm saying this not because I'm trying to, like, you know, bag on you or be a bitch. That's not what this is about. I want everybody, all of my friends, to be just that much safer and that much healthier. Um, <clears throat> Chauncey. Guy Tour Gamer Super Gaming Channel. <laughs> Righteous, I don't know. Maybe it's Kino. Maybe I'm making an asshole of myself. Maybe I don't care. Hi, Sponge. Yes, they're still calling him a pedo over that stupid fucking picture of Bubbles. Over one little joke that 
was maybe a little bit too edge and that somebody else just freaked out over. And then somebody fucking otherwise else saved the image, sat on that shit for months until she could use it to her greatest effect to hurt suit yourself. Frankly, she ought to be shot. Well, maybe not that far, but I'm mad. Shaggy says no one cares about suit anymore. I do. Boss Dog Ross, I'm I'm pissed off because people are being absolute bullshit. You know, and this is just a disagreement between me and Shaggy. I'm not really like yelling at him. We'll probably hash this out a little further in private because that's what we generally do. Um, it's a big, deep river, and there are an awful lot of piranhas in it. And we, you know, th there are some serious business that, that we occasionally do discuss. As I said, I like the man. I have no problem with him as a person, as a fellow human. And Sponge says, Shaggy is a false Puritan that holds people up to standards he can't attain himself. Who cares what he thinks? Get the fuck out of here, you goddamn fucking jackhole. I don't need your bullshit. That's another thing. I don't care what anybody thinks of the fact that when somebody is being a cunt, and Boss Dog Ross was being a cunt, they're out of here. No one has the right to insist that someone put up with their personality if they make them uncomfortable. Yeah, and, and I don't know what Guy Tor su Gamer Super Gaming is going on about. He says, take his code, arrest him, arrest that man. What? Anyway. I stress again, we need to stop calling people things that could be um, Madman Shaggy says, I am not a Puritan. Puritans were Protestant, I believe. I believe you're right. I don't know that much about it. You know, it just another thing that, yeah, another thing that happened. This, and this, in this, oh, Jesus Christ. In this situation, I lost a friend. And Bindu Dini, or however you want to pronounce it, says, I'm a Dorabist. I study Dorability. Okay, all right, I don't care. So today I lost a friend. And the reason I lost that friend is because too much heat was coming on to him because of being friends with me. That's bullshit. Number one, it's bullshit for, for a righty to be doing that. Number two, if you walk away from a friend over simple adversity, you're not a very good friend. And I'm not trying to puff myself up or blow my own horn. Did you guys happen to notice the past year when Suit was going through all the shit? Did you happen to see that I never shifted my stance? I never walked away from him. I never just said, oh, you're too much trouble. And he had friends that fucking did that. If you were really a friend to someone and you really, really care about that person, you stick with them. Even when you don't agree with something that you do, there is a difference between, oh, yeah, you did this, so fuck off, and, man, I, don't, I, mean, I really don't agree with what you're doing or saying, but you're still my friend. Um, and Adorkable says, those who turned on suit really aren't worth anything anyhow. Fairweather people. He would have done more for them than they did for him. So now he doesn't have to waste his energies on them. 
And Suit says, for a dumb meme? Mm-hmm. I got a real sight of just how toxic people can be. Just what kind of vile mob thing starts to go on. And I've watched it not only happen to Suit. Suit got the worst of it. But I've, ha I've, I've been sitting there watching people, you know, just get, de get shot down like fucking clay pigeons on a shooting range. Just for somebody's entertainment and fun. There's a gentleman in the chat right now. Oh, fuck it. I'm going to name names. There is this one chick named Shallon. She runs the Paradise Lost server. That place is a toxic, toxic cesspool, but I, I will get to that at some other point. The first encounter I had with her, she tried to pull me into that server. Based on later behavior, it makes it obvious to me that what she was trying to do is see to it that I get dogpiled. And I declined because I, you know, I could see that a mile away because she was trying to stick grossly offensive up in my face. Um, Madman Shaggy says, Paradise Lost is far from the worst place in Discord. I know that. And um, Kaylee says, what gets me, oh wait, what gets me is Suit would have stood up for them if it was the other way around. And would have gone, all, gone balls out standing by them. Yeah, that's what he does. And Suit says, correction, Kaylee, I've stuck up for them in the past. Yeah, let's, you know, this is not, this is the thing. I got to thinking the other day, and I got to reading over some of, of the old things that I've written and posted. And I got to giving it some really deep thought, and I've decided something. If it is not something that is going to just straight get this channel yeeted off of YouTube, I really don't fucking care what gets said. Now, if somebody starts, you know, sitting in here going, faggot nigga, faggot nigga, fag, then I'm probably going to block them. That could get my channel shut down. But, you know, if somebody comes in and says so-and-so is a retard or, you know, farts around or, you, you know, it's obvious bants, then I am, if it's, if it's on a stream like this, I might change the subject. In, in, and if it's in a chat room, I walk the fuck away. Because in 10 minutes, the subject will have changed. I go get myself a goddamn soda Valkyrie. I'm so glad to see you. Hey. Um, I'm going to turn around look at the side chat. And another goddess is with us. So cool. Um, God, I have some cool people in here tonight. So, yeah. So, this, this Shaolin chick. You know, eventually, I, mean, I, I get along with some of the people that are, that are in Paradise Lost. And so, the next time I got invited, I showed up. And I had a pretty decent time at first. But then people started in with the fat jokes, calling me a Peter defender, calling me all this bullshit, generally making themselves unpleasant to be around. And I, you know, I don't stay where I'm tolerated. I go where I'm celebrated. I've got people that love me in this community, sincerely love me. Why the fuck am I going to sit around with a bunch of, of like toxic malicious people that just want to to like take pieces out of my spirit it's ridiculous and suit says there have been apologies sent to my email by certain people but some people i cannot forgive understandable i will never forgive righty ever and it's interesting because one of the people that stepped up and was honest with me. There was a time when I thought I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to forgive them either. But then we talked. And we reached across that aisle. We shook hands. Hang on a second. There's something. Yeah, it was, you're, you're right. This is right. Ain't nothing going to phase bells today. You know, or any day. I've seen the worst. I've had the worst done to me. So is Suit. And Kaylee says, Bells, the pedo supporter shit I was hit with too. I goddamn hate that. Like, no, I disagree with good reason. You're all insane. Um, 
And Suit says, you're part of spreading the bullshit, Shaggy. Be glad you are not blocked in this chat. Um, and, and thank you for not. You know, because Suit's an admin and everything I do. And the reason why? I, I would trust the man with my life. It just fucking floors me. People just think guilt by association. Okay, you're friends with this person I dislike, so therefore you can't be my friend. I mean, what are you? You know, I've, I've asked this a lot. What are you, fucking 12? <sighs> Shaggy? Not here. If you want to do that shit here, both of you just come up on stream. Posted the link again. And Suit says, also, local police know what is going on and what the accusations are. I'm still not in jail. So, you know, Suit and Shaggy, come on up. Um, anybody else that feels like they want to come up on and be on panel with me? User beware, because if you put bullshit, I will yank you out of the fucking studio, and I will block you. Yeah, and, and Adorkable says, yeah, I think Shaggy is here because he went through a hard time, so he's getting a chance, but that only goes so far. That is correct. Oh, that's not the real Gator? Why are you calling me based? I don't lay claim to that for myself. <sighs> it's the shag man. It's the shagster. It's the Mormon superhero. Yeah, oh. I don't think... I don't think Gator would be around here. Uh, hold on, let me just make sure that all my yeah, fucking background shit is dead. Okay. Yeah, it's echo, echo, echo. Yeah, yeah, I don't think Gator... Uh, I, I'm not sure, like, if I if, if he's got any brains in his, in his skull, he's going to make a beeline for the exit in regards to this community. Uh, if Gator has any brains at all, uh, he he he'd just let that fucking entire identity just sink beneath the waves. Uh, hey, this to the archives. How's it going? Yeah, but, I don't fucking you know I don't fucking know what this is that I'm doing. I know some people are going to use it, you know, as fuel against me. But what the fuck can they do to me? I've already been doxed. I've had every single part of my past dragged across the internet. Yeah, you know, no, there's I nothing mean, left to dig up. The only thing left for them to do is show up here and, and God's help them. Well, well, yeah, look, I, I mean, I'm just going to say this. Uh, it, it's really fucking gay to, to go IRL like that. There's mm -hmm. uh, even when we were making fun of suit, it was like behind the scenes, we were never going to do jack shit. And that was always, we we would discuss that. And there were some people who just didn't fucking get that. And we were always quick to say like, hey, hey, if you actually fuck with this guy's life, that makes us the bad guys. Yes. And that used to be like understood. You can be the biggest piece of shit in the world so long as it's all an illusion. If you're actually, if you actually fucking pull the trigger, and there's a bullet in the chamber. Well, no, it's it's not clowning at that point. You just did something really fucking evil. Yes. Um, uh, I anyway, have a, wait, I have I, I have a serious question for you. What? What would it take for you to apologize to suit for your part in all that? <laughs> well, I mean, realistically, I'd, mean... Have to, I'd have to know. Okay, so the issue there is there's mm -hmm. so much bullshit uh, that 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 that's uh, gone on there. I don't know who's telling the fucking truth. Um, cause in both directions there, the, I, that's why I just sort of fucking stepped aside from all that shit. The cornfield, in addition to the fact that, um, you, you know, uh, it just got too crazy over there in general. 
And right. that, that's why, as I said, as I said, I wanted to do more Christian Bible oriented content. And now I would I'm love you to do that. that. What? I would fucking love you to do that. I do. That's I'll tell true. you something. I won't convert to Christianity. But my God, you certainly made it more beautiful in my eyes with the private talks we've had about it. I appreciate that. I mean, I wish my church felt that way. Uh, they're they're I know. Uh, they're mad at me because apparently they they think I'm some sort of uh, well, they think I'm a Nazi and they're pissed at me for a variety of reasons. But uh, in any in any in any case, um, like I, I do, if you haven't seen, I, I'm over on Surfer's channel often. I, mm -hmm. I, uh, I yeah, I've often, seen a couple of them. Yeah, I'll go on the Bible study. I get in arguments with, with some people from other denominations and then I get. I get the same fucking shit that you get from me. They all call me a witch and a heretic and tell me I'm going to hell for worshiping, <laughs> for worshiping a fake deity. So you can you can go over there and see what it's like when I get that. You know, don't think. Well, what, don't what think I'm, you know, one. what I had like what I had almost thought of doing was wait till you're actually on panel up there where you're in a call up there, and then show up and be like, stop going at him. At least he believes in Christ. Here's your fucking pagan right here. He's not pagan. Oh no, I'd appreciate that, but like realistically, these people. I've, the problem I have over there is a lot of these people. I used to be a pagan, so you know part of the reason I'm, I'm so concerned with trying to get you to convert to Christianity is because I don't think the religion is all bullshit. Much like that Seventh Day Adventist guy who thinks I'm serving the Antichrist. I actually think there there might be something to that religion. Nothing good, mind you. Of but course. I don't, I don't think it, it, it it's just a bunch of... Um, I think when you reach out to the universe, the universe in some way reaches back. Uh, the problem is, is that over in that community, they don't want to fucking hear about anything that isn't in the Bible. Echo they chamber, I know. They, well, it's not really an echo chamber. It's just that most of these guys are Church of Christ or Seventh-day yeah. Adventists, meaning if it's not in the Bible, they don't think it's relevant, even if it's interesting. Right. So hold on. Hold on. Come on, Bella. I got an older dog that needs help with moving, so. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Sue doesn't have to do anything. Would I like for him to, to hash this out with Shaggy on here? Look, I was a fan of Suit's content. Like, I'll just say this. The reason I got pissed at Suit is because he had a very specific character, right? It's like like the Mormon Shaggy character, right? If I had simply dropped the cornfield shit, if I had just dropped all the pornography and suddenly I, I was preaching all the time and giving, giving like, honest-to-God hardcore Bible takes... um. That wouldn't have been fair on the audience. The audience would have been like, what the fuck is this? And they would have torn me apart rightfully so. So when I wanted to transition into that sort of content, I set up a second channel called uh, Dissident Gospel. I remember and, that. Yeah, I started uh, producing this series that was basically on the history of the Latter-day Saints Church. Um, you know, and, and when I came back to this channel by that point, you know, people were, were more willing to accept the sort of content I wanted to make. What Suit sort of did was he went from being very much sort of the sphere uh, of Ethan Ralph and the quartering and all these other people who were uh, basically on that side of the internet back then. And it really went from that to, and, and it's very subtle, okay? There's a difference, and, and I want to point this out. It was There's like a, a frog in a boiling pot of water is what it was like. Because well, well, no, I remember, no. you know, this is an important part. This is really important to understanding. I don't think Suit understands this. I don't think a lot of people understand this. I think there's a lot of people on my side of the internet who really wouldn't get this. Um, and that's because it's not it's not something people really, um, really... Uh, I need well, to, I, I need well, to kind on. of put the... You know, pump the brakes for a second. Well, well, I, I, wanna, I just want to point out this one thing. You know Queen of Spades, right? You know who she Queen is? Queen of Spade is a piece of shit. Well, I'm not here to debate uh, the, the quality of her character. I'm just pointing out that Queen of Spades comes from a very specific part of the internet. 
Now, uh, my first introduction to Queen of Spades was Suits Channel. And I think that's when Suits Channel really went off a cliff was when he started covering what I would call the drama community as opposed to the community that, um, well, Ethan, Ralph, Quartering, anyone, if you really go back and watch Suits early content when, when there was that that sort of uh, uh, bar, the, the shitty finger or whatever the fuck he called it, um, appropriate that he was covering Ralph, but um, he... Uh, you would you would see all the characters um, that were relevant to the scene back then, and if and if someone um, yeah, I've watched Raising the Bar. Me, if someone asks me about uh, what all this internet bullshit is about, I I would often direct them to some of Suits' early work because it really is a good introductory uh, sort of material for understanding how things were at that very specific time. Now, when he started covering Queen of Spades, and then later uh, those the, those uh, Matt Davies, the people, the Ghost Hunters, the content really became shit because it wasn't so much about hey these guys are funny. It was it was more about I don't like these guys. I have a platform. Watch me make fun of them and have a laugh at their expense uh, along with me. Internet celebrity, suit yourself. And it just got really gay, in my opinion. Just. Just a never-ending uh, fucking parade of his grievances with characters who really didn't um, have that much of a, of, of a place in the scene to begin with. And, and um, you know, I, I had the same problem with... Uh, fuck. It's not just Suit. I've had this problem with, with, with a lot of people who have tried to use their platforms to, to uh, fucking make shit about them and whoever the fuck they didn't like. It, it was always, I, I've never liked that. I always thought it was shit content. And the reason I started making this channel to begin with was really just to give my opinion on the content, whether or not you think that opinion is correct or not. But that was my initial point of the channel. Literally just my opinion on random ass content. Um. Okay. This is the thing though. But yeah, oh, yeah. That, that that's the point is that the reason that suit got all that shit, and th this is what it all boils down to, is the rules in, in Queens part of the internet, the drama community, are very different than the rules on the trolling slash this is like the blood thing. sports community. Shaggy, but they often Shaggy. overlap. Um, I need you and fucking everybody to hear this and hear this clearly and remember this. There aren't any rules. There used to be. That doesn't exist anymore. Oh, no, there are rules. Just from a, no, th yeah. nobody follows that. Yeah, nobody fucking follows that. People just bend them and break them and contort them and make up their own shit, do whatever the fuck they want. Any right. kind of structure that once was there has been completely eroded I by toxic would... behavior, lies, and bullshit. I would agree with you, but yes. there's yes, one Kaylee, thing I think, I think you're overlooking is the fact that the rules are whatever have consequences. The rules is what hurts you, and there's still stuff that hurts you. There's still stuff you can do where you'll get smacked in the mouth for it, metaphorically speaking. So there are still rules. They're just so esoteric, bizarre, or fucked up that they're of no use to anyone around here. But, I mean, again, going back to the, the issue with suit, uh, it's largely what he's saying there is a flat out lie. I, no, I had a not. very good, well, no, no, it's saying I didn't understand he's, his content. So doesn't lie. Well, then he's just fucking wrong. But either well, way, that I is one thing. He was at one point in time, he was wrong about me. Know what the man did? He fucking nutted up, contacted me, apologized to me, retracted the things he said, and has been a staunch defender of mine and my best friend well, ever I, fucking since. I can't read He's his not mind. a liar. I can't read his mind, but but what else I will say to, to what he said there is I had a very good understanding of your content suit. So your content changed, and that's why your audience changed. And some people in your audience were a little taken aback by it. Now, do I think you deserve the amount of shit you got? Well, I mean, the game you played, realistically, that internet blood sports shit, you remember the stuff you put Matt Jarbo through? You helped to put Matt Jarbo through that shit. Come on, you know how the game was played. Now, I I was uh, the second person to find out about that weird cartoon stuff. That was actually shown to me 
by other people. And because it's not really relevant to my fucking life and it happened a long fucking time. Yeah, you are internet blood sports. At least you were. You were, Suit. You were. At one point, you were. Uh, but the, the he fact doesn't is want to be identified with that label, then don't. Yeah, well, I mean, I wouldn't say he is now. I mean, now he's a fucking gaming channel. But what, what do you want me to say? Uh, yeah, sure, sure. It's a totally clean, innocent suit. I, 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 all right, wh wh whatever. Look, my suit whole point is, is that... an you... honorable and honest man who has more integrity than anybody else I know of that, that isn't named Apollo. Well, maybe so, but th the fact is, if it had just been me taking shots at your suit, you probably would have come out on top on that one. But the fact is, you pissed off Toxic Angel. Oh, fuck he's, Toxic! No, well, he's got that a lot more dedication. Rat, right. Yeah, but you should... I'm sorry, I'm so fired up tonight. I, well, I, it's, it's, like it's probably not... Me off. It's probably not a good idea to pick a fight with someone as talented as Toxic Angel, regardless of what talented? your opinion on his character is. Oh, yeah, no, the guy has actual talent. He, he is funny, and he can make some pretty damn good content when he puts his mind to it. Jesus uh, Christ. The problem is, is that he's scatterbrained. You know, putting his mind to something takes a lot of fucking effort for him to focus that thing in one goddamn direction. But once he does... Yeah, Toxic makes some really, really good content. And I'm not going to... He makes better content than I do. Toxic makes way better Toxic, content than I do. Toxic prank called me multiple times. One time in the middle of the night when there was a storm going on and I was in unbelievable amounts of pain. When he prank called me, some of the things that he said to me were absolutely revolting. That's, and yes he, masked, yes, he masked his telephone number, but he's not talented enough to hide his voice. I, I've always found Toxic very entertaining, except when he's like letting randoms dogpile me on his show. That's not uh, that's not very pleasant of him. But, you know, no. the, well, the I'm, guy... not gonna let, yeah, I'm not going to let people dogpile you. Yeah, well, occasionally there might be kind of sprightly debates if you're involved. No, that, because that's let's fine. face it, you're a contentious personality. Well, well, yeah, but but the thing is, Toxic likes to just hear me yell at idiots, and I don't mind that. But he'll like let six or seven in the, uh, just to see how pissed off I can get. Yeah, that's not right. Yeah, but it is good. I see why he does it. His agenda, and I know this going into it. Oh, the almighty so content. <laughs> Um, but, but yeah, no, uh, I, I, I legitimately do think there's a lot of talented people on the internet. I think that, uh, you know, much like how diamonds are actually, you know, if you actually got all the ones, uh, out of Africa, you could pave your driveway with them. They're mm -hmm. so cheap. Like it's an artificial market. It's the same with talent. Yeah. There's plenty of talent. It's just it's a that, beer's market. Yeah. You know, they, they, uh, the only talent that you can sell is talent with, uh, uh, you know, a brand on it. So um, there's a lot of talent on YouTube. I think that uh, Surfer is very talented at, at what oh, he I agree does. There. I don't honestly uh, spend any time dealing with channels that I don't find some merit in. But, right. um, you know. Uh, God, I've got eight, no, 13 people in here maxed out at 21. I guess I'm providing. The well, so, so here, here's the deal, right? Um, I I initially went after you because of my uh, I used to hold a very strong anti band stance. Now, admittedly, right. admittedly, I learned the hard way. If you just let random idiots fuck up your chat, right? Um, or if you don't like actually follow through on your threats to ban people who are screwing shit up, you won't have a chat for very long. But you literally banned me over some. Very reasonable comment, comment criticizing something. I, 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 I can't even what. remember. I can't yeah. even remember. Yeah, that I is mean, water so far under the bridge that's right. out to sea. Right. And, and I will never, is, you know, I will never fucking wish you harm again. Well, no, I mean, the, 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 the fact of the matter is, is the, the issue, the thing, the reason I went at suit is because I, anyone I've ever permabanned, it was either someone who's only and always does disruptive shit, or I can remember why the fuck I banned them. Like, Suit, so you just, uh, yeah, but Suit, so you're a fucking idiot. No, like, he's not. Be real. 
No, he's not. Uh -oh. Well, he's smarter yeah. than me. The guy's the, the guy's a literal genius. He's the guy's atheist. a better writer than me. The guy's he's got more atheist. integrity than me. The guy's he's got just... a stronger spirit and character than me. The guy's superior to me in like I don't know how many fucking ways. And no, that's why a... I love him. He's an so atheist. Stop talking about stop yeah, but talking he is an about atheist. But I don't he is care. An he's not an atheist. Yeah, he's no, agnostic. That, that is, that's just as bad. That is just as bad. Like if he was that smart, he'd know God. Watch, let me prove God in five fucking minutes. He's right? He's not an idiot. You know the cosmos? That's God. Disprove that suit. Go ahead. Come on, come on up here and prove to me that God doesn't exist. He's not going to do it by a Mormon. If he is so smart, how come you're running from a Mormon suit? Come on, you're, you're afraid of a theological debate with a Mormon? I'll prove God exists to you using a handful of sand and a glass of water. Genius. Um, Seriously. Salient point that that. Uh, that Kaylee says, um, oh. oh, fuck, I accidentally blocked her. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I've done oh, that shit. before. Yeah. Okay, what the fuck? Don't, don't ask me. I have no idea how to unblock people. I deliberately never learned. Um, Kaylee, what I'll do is, oh, actually, I'm going to do that right now, is dig around in my studio and try to fix it. Ay, ay, ay. Because the chat was scrolling. God damn it. I hate when I do that. Well, but, yeah. I mean, the other thing, the other thing about Suit. Stop is, insulting. No, I'm not. I'm friend. not insulting him. I just, I just think he needs to take responsibility for what he did to Scrappy. You know, me and me and me and Shaggy and the others, we had a real hard time overcoming that. After what happened, yeah. after what happened at, at, at the old manor, you know what you did, Suit. We know it was you in that mask. What the fuck? I he was know an innocent puppy. About. He was an innocent puppy. And you raped and murdered him, raped and murdered little Scrappy Doo. Fred was never the same after. Got into that heroin and shit. Daphne became a hooker, and we never saw Velma again. It's your bastard suit. You killed it. You killed the dream. You killed Mysteries Inc. Hang on, but just I, a second. I'm not, I don't oh, have anything no, to go with oh, that. I want to unblock him. That, that oh. joke is, is that that's the end of the line. There, I, I have no more material on that. Yeah, well. I would be a lot happier if well, when look, you came so, on so here. Understood. Yes, I'm talking about a cartoon. Got, got you, you. You got it. Do they not have Scooby Doo over your side of the lake? Ah, my equipment's fucking up again. Yeah, I hear you there. Um, the reason I'm quiet is because I'm like kind of pawing through my goddamn settings to try to see what goddamn happened. Oh my lord, I have so many fucking people I've banned over the years. So, yeah, so I do many. I do claim you're an atheist. I claim agnostics are 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 just atheists who uh you know won't jump in. They just want to keep sticking their toe in the water. But you know, I, I get it. It's hard to disavow a god you secretly know is real and judging you. But you still shouldn't have murdered Scrappy. That was wrong, Suit. Oh, my goodness gracious. Hang on. Let me see if she's... There she is. Fuck. Um, uh, Kaylee says, but it proves my point. See, I was just banned. I'm not hurt. Well, I I'd also ask Suit uh, what his response is to the allegations that he raped Josie and the Pussycats. You know, what the I fuck? think we really, we really, <laughs> I can't, You're I'm being sorry. a goddamn weirdo. Why are you I being will, a goddamn had, weirdo? If I had more actual knowledge of these old cartoons, I could make better jokes, but I don't. Oh, dearie me. Boomer jokes, and you're not a boomer. Um... Uh, what do I think of deism? Oh, uh, that's a good adorkables. Uh, all Mormons uh, are to a degree deists because Joseph Smith was a deist. Um, I, I do believe in deism. I do believe in that all paths to God are effective if you walk. Uh, if you if you um, 
if you take the right steps, you know, I do believe that there is a place in heaven for good Buddhists, Jews, Catholics, Mormons, uh, um, Christians. Uh, um, that's what sets me apart from Surfer and many of the uh, other people in my current community. I, I do believe that, uh, you know, there are other paths uh, to to uh, heaven, paradise, nirvana, um, you know, oh, Eden. Oh. But um, yeah, that that that's another one. Uh, but um, well, I'll tell I, you what. I'll tell you what. Um, I, well, I you just, know, I'll, you go back and forth to Valhalla, and I'll go back and forth to your version of heaven, and we'll raise hell and annoy all of them. <laughs> uh, what do you I think mean, there? I, I think there is even some truth to the um, to Hinduism, but but the the key that that I would point out there is. Um, you know, Valhalla, all of it is that for white people um, in the modern era, I really do believe that that Christianity should be the bedrock of our culture, our foundation. Uh, otherwise, you know, the fact of the matter is um, if we do not have more concern uh, as a race for the existence of white people, there will come a day where white people do not exist. And I know it's easy for many people having grown up in a anglophobic Western culture to say, well, why do we need to exist? But if you really start picturing what the world would look like without you, it, it's pretty depressing. Uh, you know, as someone who believes in uh, real diversity, not the woke corporate bullshit version of it, um, you know, I, I understand that uh, the existence of white people is not a foregone conclusion. And in fact, the science of it says oh my God. that if we do not make decisions, if we do not decide to exist, then we will cease to do so. Um, and I believe that Christianity is what teaches us as a people the uh, lessons we need to, uh, to learn to grow up to be people who will make healthy decisions that will lead to survival. I believe that people who are taught to march to their destruction, will indeed march to their destruction. In fact, they'll run to it. Uh, I also believe that, you know, the loss of Christian values in our culture is directly responsible. I'm going to, to mute down it. because, hold up, I'm going to mute down because look who else is on stream with us now. Yeah, I and saw he's got a lot. Yeah, he's he's got a lot. But more. I'm the big internet celebrity now, suit. No, I'm the one who gets. No, I'm money. not actually suit. He's too cowardly to join this stream. Are you kidding me? He's a little. Get out of fucking here. <laughs> that was an epic play by a master troll. A master troll indeed. Uh, I tip my hat to you, sir. That was that... fucked up, and I don't appreciate it on my stream. <laughs> oh, this is not up. a troll stream. That, that Go was... fuck yourself. That was funny. Let's let's be honest. That was no, funny. I don't think that was funny at all because he's had so many people fucking take on his identity to try to you know burn his entire theoretically speaking you house know, down that's know, weird there, shit. There, there's a lot of people like that's unfortunate and i unfortunately there is a lot of uh fake uh, doppelgangers that's something uh again i don't like it i don't either i don't either there but fighting against it does nothing the only thing you can really do is block your doppelgangers and allow anyone stupid enough to be fooled by them to get felted by the joke. But uh, as to what I was saying, yeah, I um, I simply believe that uh, if Western culture is to survive, it must be built on on the Bible and the Book of Mormon as a foundation. Uh, you know, other cultures do not have their own. You're foundation. an awesome dude, do but I couldn't disagree food. more. Um, you know that. Can we please shift off of religion? I know that that's important to you to talk about, and I understand why. I'm not condemning you for it. Yeah, um, sure. yeah but let's let's kind of move aside from that because this really isn't that channel. I'll tell you what. Stop talking about it, and I'll come over to your channel, and I will let you roast me. <laughs> All right. No, I, I'm not interested in roasting anyone. I, I'm actually interested in being a preaching channel, uh, unironically. I, I Good. Just, well, yeah, I mean, I'm going to upload please. more poetry. I was going to I was about to say, poetry. please, please, please give us more of your poetry. Well, that is what I want to hear from you. Yeah. The, because the, when the, you're speaking your poetry, that is beautiful. Well, your I voice wish even the, changes. It's I amazing. Wish the, I wish the church felt that way, but 
you know, I wanted to read some of my poetry at, at, at testimony and they're calling me a racist. They're saying, well, we know what the message is in that poem. And I'm like, I'm beginning to get real resentful about it. I got to be honest. I didn't see anything like that. No. And I've listened to all of your poems. The ones you put up, I've, I've listened to those. Well, I don't I, see anything I, like that. Okay, so what it is, is I've got a poem about Father Adam and the Adam God doctrine and how uh, white skin is a blessing from the Lord. It's basically a poem uh. about the true teachings of the Latter-day Saints Church without all the edited, watered-down bullshit. And it's just a poem saying in verse that Brigham Young was right and that you shouldn't argue with a man who's better than you are. Yeah, again, that dog don't hunt. Can it's we please it, shift off of religion? I, 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 I mean, we'll, we're talking about a historical thing. I'm just saying it's like, I mean, just because someone's dead doesn't mean what they said no longer holds merit. You and I are never going to agree about this. You don't believe that the words of the dead hold merit? I believe that the words of the dead hold merit. However, and this is a big however, you're not going to get me to, to co-sign the whole, you know, like no condemnation implied here. You're not going to get me to co-sign those beliefs. It said with well, all of my they, heart. If they were just beliefs, that would be one thing. But I can you can scientifically prove Brigham Young was right. <laughs> I've talked to Odin, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's like Brigham Young would have told you that God will appear to you in the form you, you'll accept him in. Like, Brigham Young oh, taught a lot of things God. that are far more... It's Look, really, I don't, really I, I, I'm going to detail, but Please. I don't, I'm already in trouble with the church for running this channel, and I, I don't know. They, I don't think... They, oh, well, number one, Warhammer should never, fucking never, ever have called your church. No, I That's couldn't get a hold of my job, so that was the next best thing. Yeah. That, that guy, I, I swear to God. Uh, that I was was, that, I, I when was I heard that he did that, my moment. stomach just churned because I knew it was going to have a bad impact on you, and that's not something I wanted for you. We may disagree about every last thing regarding religion, but I will fight to the death for your right to believe as you choose to believe, even when I don't agree with your racial shit, which I don't. And you know that. And that's OK. I don't I don't. Well, hold on. I don't I'm, I'm not I'm not saying I fuck, I, no, I fuck a black man. I love him more than I love my own life. I love him more than I love suit. Well, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, but no offense, but you're not white. You're Mediterranean. That, that's like, <laughs> I'm half German. <laughs> all right. But, but well, all right. So like, again, my point here is, is, is I don't hate non-whites. You know, I was taking care of like a whole house full of boys for almost a year and only one Hold of up. them. I got to, I, I got to read this out loud. Having pride in your race doesn't make you a racist, just makes you proud. I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I don't. I, right of, there. That's there is a difference. And most of the kids I watched over that I still miss were black. I mean, I'm I'm not I'm not a white supremacist. I'm a Mormon. I'm a, I'm a very I'm basically a Mormon fundamentalist within the LDS. I know. I'm an LDS fundamentalist, but I don't wish death or harm or on anyone. And I certainly don't. There are black men who are better than me in the eyes of science and God. And I don't have a problem saying that. Now, admit is, admittedly, Jesse Lee Peterson just got outed as a homosexual. So now I have to reevaluate him as absolute scum. But before that, I very much viewed him a, a, as a role model. Um, well, they, they got they, they destroyed my life. Shaggy, really, this is I, an inclusive channel and it is Pride Month. Please they, curtail they, that. Thank no. you. No, Thank you. Them. They destroyed my whole life, Bells. Fuck them. I hope God literally drowns them all. I literally hope he drowns them in the blood of their children. And I say that Dude. lovingly. I say that with love in my heart. I know you're angry because of the way that you got treated. Evil unicorn. Oh, my God. Hi. It's been like for fucking ever since I've seen you. Hi, babes. Hi. All, all unicorns are evil. That's why God killed them. They were, they were uh, selfish. You please? See, people, you don't understand. 
you come up in this channel and you start talking like an asshole, you are going to get blocked because I don't have the time. I don't have the patience. You know, you don't, you know, you aren't my man. You aren't my daddy. You don't pay my paycheck. I owe you nothing. I'm talking rhetorical you, the troll farm. <sighs> Yeah, yeah I um, mean, hang on a second. Yes, God killed the unicorns. Uh, the unicorns would not get onto the ark because they were trying to fuck zebras or something, so God drowned them. That's lame. Um, well, they shouldn't have been fucking zebras, and they wouldn't have been drowned. still dumb. Well, no, that's, that's God saying that race mixing is bad. And that's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, no, that's why he killed them. It was race mixing with the zebras. So You're being an angry. asshole. Please stop God being an angry. asshole. Can you yeah. avoid being an asshole? This isn't an asshole kind of oh. child channel, oh. except for me. I am actually a card carrying asshole. Well, that that's why there were swastikas all over the ark because God was pissed at all the race mixing the giants were doing. Which is why I am going slides. to dump icy hot down the front of your pants if you don't quit. Well, I, I, I mean, not to, out. not to continue the joke, but I mean, it is ironic that if you read that story, it is because the angels were race mixing with humans that God did that. So that does sort of imply God is against race mixing. That's, that implies that, that. Yeah, and Coffee Creamer says striped unicorn hybrids actually sound cool. Those actually, something similar to that actually appears in Game of Thrones, and they're called Zorses, part horse, part zebra. And I believe it's the Jogos Nai that ride them, but occasionally you'll see one come out of Kohor or someplace like that. Fun fact, absolutely irrelevant to the discussion, but I am a Game of Thrones nerd. What can I say? Um, I'm just, I think I'm just a nerd. You're a nerd too. Have you, read, have you read the Dune series? That's what, that's, well, the first three I have. Yeah, I, I started reading it, and it convinced me to read the Quran, so I stopped reading it, and now I'm reading the Quran. So I'm not really uh, – I'm not sure about that I don't sure agree what's in the Quran. Um, I certainly it's, don't agree with some of the things I see done in the name of Islam. But that just like there are, you know, just like there are good people in any faith, there are definitely good people in Islam. You know, like the people the, in New Orleans that fed me when I was literally starving. Well, the that church, was a masjid. The church is pretty much just as pissed at me for the reading the Quran as they are for the fact that I'm reading certain other books. I, I mean, they're not happy about that either. And I, I mean, I'm only How reading it. How did they find because... out? What, what did they find out off of your channel? Yeah. Yeah. When, oh, when, that, at, when that fucking asshole couldn't contact my job. Um. You know, he contacted, uh, he tried to contact my church. He couldn't do that. But because it's like a centralized church, he was. it's very easy to get in charge with someone who's mm -hmm. like in charge of all the Mormons everywhere. So, yeah, eventually it did get back to me. Um, look, the church is not kicked me out because they really don't want me as an anti-Mormon. They don't, they don't want someone... Uh, <laughs> They they they've seen how I go at the groups. I don't know. I'm I'm kidding. I'm kidding. They they're they're they've actually been very good with me. They uh, you can always come back to paganism. I no, can guarantee you, there's no, at least one person that would welcome no, I, you. I, I I couldn't. Um, just, just putting that out there. Yeah. No, I wouldn't feel comfortable. That's not spiritually my home. Like the, the part of the I reason can, was, I can respect that. If I was gonna ever leave the Latter Day Saints Church, it would have been when they denied me the garments for being unworthy. I thought I thought that would have that's I they really actually thought, used oh hon they actually used that verbiage. Yeah you are no, unworthy. Well, well yeah it's they said spiritually oh, unclean for is fuck's the term. sake. Uh well I mean were, they were found you out, were you just censured or were you excommunicated? Well they found out I'm taking advantage of women who have been sex trafficked. They're pretty pissed at me, but they they have you know they didn't kick me out they they actually did show concern for my well being and mm. they wanted to pay for I can't believe they wanted to pay a lot of money for me to get the sort of help they felt I need I don't think I need that sort of help I agreed to cold turkey quit no more drinking no more no more weed 
Ooh, and be careful no more of that. I don't know how much you were. I don't know how much you were drinking habitually. I don't know if if, if you're still off the wagon, but do please be careful with you yeah. know if and you drink a lot because alcohol withdrawals, which you know because you worked in a homeless shelter, no, yeah, probably no, they, saw people with it. The issues that they had a problem with was was the fact that I I I own a lot of. Uh, well, look, there, there's um. There's certain aspects of my life they're not happy about, but they don't want me to leave the church. They've shown a lot of concern for me as a person. And as a result of that, I, I, I don't think I'd ever actually leave unless they wanted me to. Uh, moreover, okay. spiritually, I really do feel this is my home. I okay. would not want to leave. Those are your First Amendment rights, that right, that right of freedom of religion. I joined a whole ass Navy to defend that, and I will still defend that. Now, I can't agree with with like at least three quarters of what you say, especially homophobia and the racism. That really kind of, you know, burns my ass up a little bit. But, and this is a but as bigger as mine. Those are still your First Amendment rights. That's your right of freedom of speech. I don't have the right to curtail it. I cannot call myself anti-censorship if I try to shut you up about it. So those of you that are listening and wondering why I'm allowing this to go on, I'm that much harder against censorship. It's bullshit. It's actually dangerous for people that write the kind of things that I write. Like, for fuck's sake, my the first page of my book goes into a six-year-old kid being beaten by his alcoholic mother. I don't have the right to tell anybody anything if I'm going to write like that. Do yeah, I? no, um, I've honestly trying to get back into writing but and you should um it's good. what i end it's up writing is it, it is basically it just comes out as something even i'd call a homophobic screed and i'm not gonna put my name on that because you shouldn't like when all you're feeling is just pure destructive hatred you're not going to be able to create anything so i'm i'm trying to get back into fencing uh, as soon as I got the money for it, I'm going to sign up for fencing classes again because I always enjoyed doing that. Um, it, it's a it's a sport that's entirely dedicated to stabbing people. Yeah, so so that's I, I did fence when I was like 17 and 18, and yeah. I used to really like it. Yeah, I fenced for like six years. I was, um, you know, I'm very critical of myself, but I can say I was good. I was not not the best in the class. I probably was not even fourth, but I would have ranked sixth or seventh in a class of like 30. You should do that because maybe like physical activity, uh, maybe that will make it easier for you to stay quit off the stuff you're trying to stay quit off of. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I've purchased a saber. Now, it's the one sort of sword I never really got much training in. And there's like yeah, me two, either. Four, there's two to four techniques that are slashing uh, strikes. And there's like three strikes in a block that you can do with a saber that you can't do with a with a foil. Yes. Yeah. I got a little bit of training on it. Holy shit. Did you guys hear that? I don't know if anybody heard that was a big thunderclap outside. Are you guys getting the monsoons now? Yes. Yes, we are. I remember those. Maybe someday you can you, you can manage to come back here. I could feed you until you fall over on the floor. We can watch a storm. Uh, I'd I'd like to. It's um last time I was all right. So last time I went to Arizona. Um, all right, this is a story, right? So I had been in the church for like four years, and there was this chick I would always hang out with, and she'd gotten pregnant, right? She'd gotten really pregnant, and. Recently, she found out she was Jewish, and that changed a bunch of things. Okay, for I, her. Shaggy. No, 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 no. I got, no. I, I got to stop this here. It's not going in that direction. Anyway. No, hon, I, I got to get off stream. Number one, we've got a big fat monsoon rolling through, and number wow. two, I'll talk to you about it in private. Okay. Oh, this isn't a race thing. That's not where this. No, is no, going. I, I need to stop the stream. Something bad happen? Yeah, you know, we'll talk about it in private, okay? Uh, okay. Like, uh, it sounds like drama to me. 
But whatever it is, uh, I didn't know about it's it. I'm mostly probably the thunderstorm. Not the, po the power is flickering. I don't want to risk anything bad happen. Oh, shit. and also there's something. Yeah, there is also something going on that I do have to address. Does it require like a firearm? Like, is there someone breaking into your house and you're talking to me while he's like smashing the window or something? No. If you if that was starting to happen, you would hear a whole lot more noise, and you would become aware that I'm going at the person with a tenant chef knife. So there would be blood. But I gotta go. Yeah, you want to reach for a gun, not a knife. But yeah, yeah. You take care. Yep. You too. Bye now. Somebody, suit is here. Fake suit. What's up, fake suit? How's it going, Tom? It's going right. Like you calling me a vagina. You're not going on stream, so here I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, we I've heard that you've been fucking... going around. No, no. You're going to let me talk, vaginas. Now, I've heard that you've been going around sending the people around to take away Bell's cats and ringing the police. And doxing and flagging. I have never done any of these things, and neither has Bells. It's it's all of you. You're all hypocrites. And how's the green China. hair now? Yeah, we'll talk about that. A cat she abandoned. She fucked off to a hotel, and she went back at like 10 p.m. at night to check on her cats. This is at Mate. night time when Mate. she went. To her cat. Her there. cat is a desert cat. Desert yeah. cats can survive boiling water. You can even roast them in the oven. They'll be they don't need water. Put them on the stone and they watch them. And we can say was that she's abandoned these cats with no ventilation, just a fan. She claimed she had a fan. So I, I put, posted my concern. Not my fault if someone contacted fucking what's her name. I never had a number or an address. It was on local. I never put it there. Well, she always says, go ahead. She has no problem. Uh, so I mean, she she docked herself four years ago on a fucking thingy. She gave a full name out, and she said in a video the other day that I reviewed yesterday that I give my name out so you'll buy my book. Wow. So she's so she self so she has literally admitted that she docked herself. You, you're blocking and banning me, you vaginas. I didn't accidentally click sign. That was you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> We're vaginas. Now, look here, retards. Obviously, you guys are the ones doing the wrong things. Yeah, Fucking obviously. cats wrong come from the desert and can survive hot boxes. Everybody knows this. I am yeah. a fucking genius. Bell's even told you so tonight. And it's fucking obvious. I'm it's, obvious. it's obvious that Bell's just wants to... I don't... No, around. no, I don't need to go on stream with you guys. Because you guys are retards. And by doing so... Brings my intelligence levels down. That's why yeah. I am such a slappy vagina. Yeah, that's why I have a vagina. You're just hypocrites. That's what's happening. And, and Toxic obviously spagged out because he likes Ninja Sword. Mm -hmm. This is why Toxic went off in the first place. It's not because he watched Hyper's video and then actually brought up good points. And everybody's just calling me a pedophile. And yeah, like, it's all because I just posted Lolly when really I, I didn't post Lolly though. So, yeah, that's that's what happened. Oh, and if I, say Lolly. No, no, no. By hiding away and not saying anything and having my, leak, my chat leaked to Kiwi Farms, this was a great idea. And it's all your guys' fault. For then spurging out and continuing to attack me. When, yeah, yeah I probably could have just said, yeah, that was a bad look. Maybe you shouldn't have posted that one photo. But no, <laughs> I wanted to drag it on for Lance because it's all your fault. I'm a genius. Yeah, but it's like what he said to Faith. What he said to Faith. 
sat there and he's like, she's for social workers say that, but that you're attractive and you're this. He's like, like Joe Biden. Uh, well, I'm a genius. And oh, I was trying Biden. to be a psychologist. Yeah. I was acting in the role of psychologist, which is something yeah. YouTubers do. Because we are multifaceted. <laughs> Fucking content, when we are content creators, we it's can true. designate ourselves to be many things. We can be like journalists and psychologists and, uh, Expert and, diagnostics. and retard. Fuck a surgeon. And in your case, vaginas. Yeah. Yeah. We'll diagnose you if, we, if you have issues with struggling with mental issues. Yeah, we know best. Well, that says a lot coming from you, Toxic, because you're not allowed to have an opinion mm -hmm. because you're crazy and have conspiracy theories about Freemasons. Yes. And your brain's fucking wired to fuck because of all them drugs. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, what. I won. Because I didn't even have to go into the stream. Yeah. I just cried in Belle's DMs. Yeah. And Belle won because she always wins because she is such a slappy hamburger and I love her dearly. Does she own her shit? Oh, she always owns her shit, mate. <laughs> Context matters. It really matters. But really. I don't even know why I wouldn't just jump on a stream and try and take out Mormon Shaggy because that would be pretty easy when you're talking shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had to just send him chat like a fucking vagina. <laughs> what the fuck was I doing? How's that? He'll talk about, he'll talk to Mormon Shaggy and, and confront him like, oh, you're not racist, blah, 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 blah. But he won't come say, oh, it's not pedophile cartoons, <laughs> blah, 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 on this channel. Come on, suit. Let's hear it. You're not banned. Well, Suit's not even well, no. The thing was, is that I offered to Shaggy in the chat, in the Bell's chat, if you saw it. I'm just going to point this out because it, it's <laughs> not funny at all. <laughs> and I, I asked Shaggy, I said to Shaggy that many people have been sending me apologies and that he could send me an apology via email as well and ownership. And if he was going to not do that, then that would make him a bad evil man that would have to be blocked from chat. And then Bell's offered, offered for Shaggy to go up on stream and apologize and bend the knee to me, the great genius suit yourself. Wow. And yet he ruined the opportunity by being a retard instead. Oh, you're so massive win yeah. for me. <laughs> That's serious. That's seriously what happened. Oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> so did he bend the knee? No, Shaggy oh. did not bend the knee. And that's why I had to ban him from the chat. <laughs> Damn. That means that I won internet, even though I had not into internet buzz sports at all. He does ban. Sort of, yeah, he doesn't do them, but he, he, he's, he was part of it. Man. He was there man. in the thick of it. I didn't do well, internet buzz sports. I knew not. I can totally 100% confirm that I blocked Shaggy and banned him from the chat because he didn't send me a groveling email. And Ben the knee apologizing for all the shit that he's been doing. Because you can't call me names on the internet. Yeah. It's very rude. It's just not on, mate. You might and make you can't call him out. What Toxic is doing is just unforgivable. Yeah. Asking you to own your shit. I'm just well, a real reflection. Own your shit. You're nearly as fast as I am. I just find it amazing that. Me, the great and powerful suit. You know, it's it's just that I can't deal with two internet spurgs of the likes of Shaggy and Toxic. Mm. And that's what makes me look like such a winner. Context matters. Yeah, so it's what context. So what was the context that you posted the fucking a child getting fucked? Oh yeah, because that was him and actually having sex. Context matters. <laughs> yeah, context matters. Like me and my girlfriend. Oh, who's a boyfriend? Who I'm still uh, friends with. I wonder uh, if you a donation lately. Uh, well, sorry guys, but I have to run because I've got Slappy Vatch ringing me now. Menstruating. I'm go talk to Bells. Have fun.
<laughs> stuff you can do where you'll get smacked in the mouth for it, metaphorically <clears throat> speaking. So there are still hey, rules. What's up? What's so, oh, happening? The other things. Hey, you. We have some. Sorry, I totally didn't. Some shag is Yeah, yeah we'll shag move to the other shaggy. room. Hold on, I just got to get set up here. Otherwise, things are not going to work. Shaggy, why have you become such a fucking bitch? Oh man! Wait, on. is Shaggy up here with us right now? Yeah, yes. yeah, Shaggy's right here. Shaggy, what are you doing, man? Hold on. Why have you become such a fucking well, I bitch? I can't hear jack shit. Hold on. Hold on. I'm dealing with technical <laughs> difficulties. Okay. We got this. What's up? Okay. We got what's up? This. Uh, well, you tell us. <laughs> Yeah, why have you become a bitch, mate? What's going on? <laughs> bitch. What? Okay, why are you being a bitch is what he said. Bitch, um, mate. Oh, okay, why am I a bitch now? I, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm new to this. Well, what, what have I done? A few, a few months about... ago, everything that we said about suit was true, and you know it's true. And now you're turning around saying that it's it, you don't know if it is. Oh no, true. no, I said it was completely true. Did you watch the thing? Uh, I was going to yeah. come on here and make fun of suit because it's uh, the, we've just uh, been hold watching on, it, no. and you hold said on, you can't define what bullshit All and right, what's calm, calm the fuck down. I've got some shit <laughs> y'all don't know. I've got some new lore for you. All okay, right. I'm about Shaggy oh. about the good shit. Shaggy brought the good shit, so y'all calm the fuck down. Shaggy got the good stuff. So, Shaggy, you know you mean. Well, hold on. Everyone's about to be real happy with Shaggy. Everyone's about to be real happy. Uh, hold on, hold on. Provided I can get a good connection. Well, I got Shaggy. Hold Shaggy on. No, no, I got something good. I got something good. You can't good. tease us like this. You um, come up here, you're like, oh man, right, I got this great pie. But you guys are going to have to wait three hours while I make this pie. I got this great pie, you guys. You're going to love the way it tastes. We're Gosh, like, oh my God, I, I'm, I can't I'm wait. Give us a fucking pie, Shaggy. I'll give you the first cut, all right? Here's the deal. Did you watch the end of that stream? Do you know why Bells had to leave immediately? Because I do. No, nope. why? 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 Because Suit was so fucking upset, he threatened to stop being her friend if she didn't ah. stop talking to me. Wow. Suit serious? is having a massive I knew tantrum. It. I knew it. Suit is ah. having a massive tantrum right now. He's Suit is so having wrong. a massive, What's massive tantrum. Do you want to apologize? You want oh, to no, I didn't apologize. Did we all need I, to apologize? Did you, did you you guys, all, I'm there's sorry. Four I, there's, there's four of us. There's four of us. We each yeah, can I cover correct. all of the directions on yeah, I, I need the to compass y'all on something uh, someone said that i apologized or something to suit no i refused to apologize the whole stream no and not once did i say i was wrong i don't know who got that wrong but no, no that never happened. nobody so, did but the, no, the fact that said, he was asking <laughs> yeah you said when fucking you were up on panel that you're in the cornfield you walked away for it due to the suit stuff because you don't know what's bullshit and what's not and the fact that you were getting fucking bullied by oh, fucking no, no, I, well, Okay, so let me clarify that. Let me clarify that. I just was not willing to go time traveling. Okay? And okay. I, I can, I'd can i say that right now, and I'll say that any time. I don't fucking remember what all happened there. You know, I was working night shift. I was very sleep yeah. deprived. Okay. I'm pretty sure he's in this the fucking wrong. All right, let's but I, whoa, 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 hold on. My about. only point was I don't want to go time traveling to find out what happened because uh, I remember. I think he just. I, I don't think Suit was innocent. Him. I don't think Suit is innocent. I just didn't bother to like remember this, like it was a key moment of my life or something. What I remember is that Suit was trading in cartoon child porn, and at no point have I disavowed that. I'm still pretty sure that he gifted uh, cartoon child porn. To a shady character that he thought was a woman. Uh, I uh, uh, was more than willing to have Snoop come up there uh, and debate that with Shaggy. Me. He didn't want to do it. How dare you? But... Retro is a kind person. It doesn't matter that they wow. lied to everybody That's for six what the years. Turned into. Uh, <laughs> that I would, I would caution how you. Dare you? I would caution you not to misgender her. The owner shit stream back next to is a woman and she has a female <laughs> penis. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, 
capital yeah, but, X. But no, no. All, all, all that aside, um, like, uh, my whole point with that was, uh, so far as do I think Sue is a pedophile? No, and we never did. So far as I, as I, as I understand, we do not believe that Suit goes after kids. That said, he's been acting... <laughs> uh, if y'all thought I was on there trying to make <laughs> peace with Suit or, or, or nothing, um, no. No, uh, I don't have a problem with Bells, but like me and her happen to have a lot of similar interests in regards to nerd shit. So I can have a conversation with her without wanting to rip my own eyeballs out. All Suit does now is like, um, you know, I've tried to have conversations with him. I've tried, but he uh, will not get over the past. He insists on going into the retardus and doing this whole Doctor Who shit. And all of a sudden, we're, we're, we're two years ago. It's not even going to like, it's not even cool time travel to where you go to some time that you never get to see. Otherwise, like 4,000 years ago or into the future. No, he wants to time travel to like two, th- two years ago. His, his time travel device only goes back to the year 2016. And I don't really <laughs> want to say, I'm not nostalgic for those years yet, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm actually kind of glad they're gone. Am I still live? <clears throat> Yeah. yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. It's just yeah. interesting how he wouldn't like, come I'm not up go and on talk Bell's to you. And just start, well, I'll, I'll be clear here, too. I'm not going to go on Bells' show and just start, like, ripping on her. I, I, I don't have a reason to do that. She's been, like, relatively nice to me. And, I mean, she makes decisions I definitely don't agree with. And I tell her, Bells, don't do this. This is stupid. I told her not to go on this show with a bunch of other people uh the other night and because i thought it was gonna you know go a bad way i bailed pretty quick uh but like um i don't i don't see it as uh yeah but don't be doing that anymore i want to laugh huh don't be telling her not to go on any streams anymore because i want to find something funny and when she gets fucking mocked and everything and starts crying it's funny well, if, what was if she if crying remember, about originally it, tonight? She's fighting with Shaylin. Oh, yeah, she no, had an argument with Shaylin in Paradise Lost. So she ran no. away. But she accused me of making her leave the server yesterday. Paradise Lost. Oh, it's your Shailen fault. Told. Why is yeah, everything your fault, is... Righty? <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> <It's like> the... <laughs> Everything's your fault. Yeah, it's like the publisher thing. I've been saying for weeks who it was. And then she's like, I'm not going to say who it is. Like, bitch, no, she... the person has been up on my fucking panel and literally admitted to doing it. So, just put it out there. It was Socky who contacted your publisher. Not me. He's purposely fucking said it openly on his own, uh, on my panel. I, um, here, I, I, I'm going to say on that what I've said everywhere else. I wasn't there at the time this lore happened. And for me to comment on it in any way is me talking on shit I do not know. Like, I can speculate... But it, for me to speculate to you guys would be fucking stupid because oh, then no. I'm speculating to you about shit you lived through. And how the fuck am I going to sit here and tell you about some shit that you were actually there for when I've just heard about it on the internet? And that's the same yeah, the thing whole, I told the whole truth. Yeah, but the whole truth well, about the publisher thing is... You questions that you're curious yeah. about. But the whole truth Sorry. about the publisher thing is shooting Bells and Brad called PDL a pedophile. So PDL got in touch with Bells um publisher so they done a fucking formal statement as they do I'll be as honest, a company. you and telling me this is said. the first i think oh no this is the second time i've heard about this but i'd yeah. forgotten about it i mean a yeah. lot of and well because the fucking llama those... lore gets caught up because of how spurgy he is yeah. and plus he posts well, he so not... much that you forget shit well yeah, but that's i mean truth. hey i got something we all know real quick. here's the deal uh, this started out. Bell's very first statement was when she she finds it. She still finds it really, really incredibly, completely more important than anything in the world, even her cats. That if you fuck up, you own your shit. And she still finds it after all this time. Private, but okay. I want to see how her stream ends because this is the own your fucking shit stream. We all know her best friend hasn't owned And then she shit. ends it. <laughs> yeah, but she has has hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta oh, edit. I think thing. he wants to hear it for himself, Shaggy, and then you can just add in little juicy tidbits. Yeah, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Okay. Um, 
Just uh, add yes, in tidbits as we listen. I think they want to hear her own reactions, the yeah. pauses that she does when she's reading Suits text, yeah. and then but, her uh, sighs the... as she goes, Shaggy, I just, no. I can't talk about this right now. I, uh, oh my God, I got to go. It's, it's, it's... Desert cats in the heat box. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm not here to stab oh, bells no. in, in the back. That's not what this is about. But Sue is acting hold on, hold on. like, hold on, like hold on. This. this isn't about Adam, bells ne necessarily on. as it is about how much yeah, Sue Shaggy, spurs. Hear the tone. And then yeah, goes into yeah. DMs and accuses everybody else of doing that thing. Yeah. He accuses everybody else of going into DMs and fucking bitching and moaning when he is the one that is going around into DMs bitching and moaning. Yep. There we go. I should also point out, uh, point this oh, out. It's oh, relatively easy. Talking with you. Uh huh. All right, I'll, I'll he just doesn't. He, 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 it sounds like drama to me. But whatever it is, uh, I didn't know about it. I'm probably the thunderstorm. The, pa the power is flickering. I don't want to risk anything bad happen. Oh, and okay. there's something. something yeah, there is also something going on that I do have to address. Does it require like a fire alarm? Like I think you're not buying this shit, Shaggy. You're like, does it include a uh, fire alarm or something? Like, <laughs> Uh, no, I had a good idea of what it was. I figured oh, that Sue was, was being like, like smashing the window or something. No, if, if, you, if that was starting to happen, you would hear a whole lot more noise. And you become aware that I'm going at the person with a tennis chef knife. So there would be blood. Whoa, I'm so terrified, you guys. I'm going to go at them in my little chair. Come here. Come closer so I can stab you with my knife. If it was more important, she would actually... Uh, go hey, hi, did you see up. my weapon unboxing? Did you guys see no, my weapon I missed unboxing? It. I missed it. I missed it. I ordered a... I, well, I've got more coming. I've ordered a, a combat saber. Shaggy, are home. you going to midlife crisis a little early? No, I'm getting back into fencing. I, oh, so I, he I'm said, not going to use uh, the actual yeah, combat but saber. Oh, yeah, but that's not fencing. But, fencing is with a rapier. That is fencing. With the yeah, but you can't it. fucking buy a decent one. All the you know, that guy's I, rapey, I have plenty of... but suit yourself is rapier than <laughs> that. Well, actually, I, I'm not very good with the rapier. I'm a bit unwieldy yeah. with that. I typically what? use an epe. You're rapier, but whether you Shaggy. use a rapier, oh, a fuck. foil, or an epe. Toxic. Or I understand that you're like deeply in touch with all things like South American and indigenous, but Whoa. also recognize that you have white heritage and that the people used to fence and it was with a rapier. It's a type oh, of like very thin sword. Yes, before. try and learn some of your own culture as well, yo. God I damn. Well, I like my culture. I just didn't know we're rapier than the black ones. I thought black no, people No, stop. Were you're so oh. stupid. You're <laughs> I mean, you not even like dad jokes. I got to prove like stuff time and think if you think uh, which one's rapier. The white powder so They only have one. The uh, they only have one sword that's like that, that that's actually quality. And unfortunately... So, you know in Star Wars how uh, Count Dooku has the, the lightsaber with the curved <laughs> handle? Yeah. Actual, uh, actual duelist swords have that. And that's how yes. that's the swords I was trained to use have the curved handle like that. So, okay. it's almost like a gun handle. Uh, a lot, actually, it's much more like the phaser handles in Star Trek. But in any way, like, unless the sword has that sort of handle, I don't know. Act I don't actually know how to wield it that well because all the swords I've yeah. actually trained in <laughs> have a curved kind handle of in that fashion. Is. So I have no clue how to actually use a saber. I know how to use a, a foil. Uh, Listen, or, um, motherfuckers, we all know that I'm a sword master and I've never been rapier than any motherfucker. So fuck you guys. I'm trying to say no. Yeah, just no. not the type of sword that you're talking about where they're toxic. We know what you're a master of. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a master of rubbing them out. Well, look. Yeah. It, 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 I, it, well, all right. So I think there's been some miscommunication. <laughs> toxic is a friend her, that gets burned by the campfire whenever knuckles, you go okay? camping. All I fell asleep for, once for drunk and when it like For sparked, fencing, like, the rapier is not the best way, but... But for raping her, what you want is brass. I they stop. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? I thought we were talking about raping her. I don't know. No, who let's she let's is. uh yeah. how about your apology to suit? If you did apologize to suit, what would you say? If I'm you were going to did. apologize, I'd probably just zero in my balls, to be honest. <laughs> Oh, ah, that doesn't sound. Is that how you apologize? I'm my balls. I said I'm a Xerox from my balls. a new balls. kind of apology, I guess, eh? <laughs> I, I mean... My so when you wouldn't be like... Because he's, he's going to want a full admittance of everything yeah, that I got all, hey, Here's absolutes. a full, heartfelt apology for suit, I promise. Okay. Suit yourself. I am really humbly and incredibly... And horribly and compassionately sorry <laughs> for highlighting the fact that you violated fucking sex crimes and someone else who shared the exact same image is registered for three years as a fucking sex offender. You goddamn almost accidental pedophile, which you've asked so many times how I accidentally got a fucking hand job. Well, I guess you know how you accidentally traded fucking CP. So suck a dick. Oh shit, that wasn't an apology. Fuck, sorry, suit. Suck yeah. <laughs> it. So when are you getting dropped by Bells, you know, because you're her best friend now, and she's a master is telling her to drop you. So when are you getting Look, dropped? I'm, I cannot understand your fucking accent. <laughs> when are you getting dropped by Bells? Because a master is telling. When are you getting dropped? Yeah. When is I, Bells I gonna understand. let like drop you? When is she I'm gonna be to done with camera you? Camera and do sign language too I, while he speaks. I, I, well, <laughs> If I was good at predicting, like when, when is Bell going to get tired I, of? I know it. Yeah, I know. If, listen, if I was good at predicting when people are going to stab me in the back, my life would be like 180 degrees mm. different. All right, um, I will be the last fucking person to know if she intends to do that. Like, I will probably not realize it until after everyone else does. How so? How how would you like? You're not going like, to be able to see it talk, coming. Like, I never look, look, look. When people, I don't think she she's going to stab me in the back. But here's the thing: I never think people are going <laughs> to okay. stab me in the back. I never <laughs> think people will stab me in the back. That's, well, she that's is going to drop you. Flaw. I, 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 I am very trusting. You never, and that, you that never will, think people are going to stab you in the back. Continually suffer for. But I, I am a very trusting person. As a result of that. Um, you know, I have to always live with the knowledge that anyone might stab me in the back because I wouldn't fucking know. I get that. But does that mean that you can't predict or know what no, you would I mean, do when, in when, that no, situation? When, when you preemptively that... strike the bitch right now is what she's saying. This is war, motherfucker. Get ready. Join us or fuck you. Uh, Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. I just have to do something. Hold on. Hey, Nico. I just just have to do something for a good friend. Forge gang. Friendly with bells, I've noticed, but it is Pride Month, Nicolo, so we will. uh, You realize that that Forge gang actually does have pedophiles in it, right? Unironically. That's not just something I say as a joke. I don't know. I just do it for fucking Nicolo. Yeah, I know everyone does. But, like, I I keep telling everyone, yeah, there's pedophiles in there. And they're all going at Chauncey over what Discord he was in and telling me, hey, your A-log Chauncey was caught in a a furry Discord. It's like, well, yeah, but y'all are yelling Forge Gang all the time. And I happen to know there's a bunch of pedos in there, but y'all want to fucking dick around because it's funny. What are you talking? Shaggy, uh, it's all jokes. God, what? are you are such a silly American. Yeah. Maybe it's because Forge. in America we have so many people that do that kind of gross stuff, whereas elsewhere in the world they don't have any people that do pedo type stuff. So we There's just overreact the world, to it. You are overreacting. It's jokes. But yeah, Shaggy, it's all jokes. I've publicly said Forge Gang and all them other names that they've got to play gang are just gay boy bad names. No, I, I, I know that. I know that. I'm just I'm just telling you guys unironically, and I'm not joking here. Some of the people who are, are hanging out, with, uh, who are really uh, involved in that shit, and I don't want to name Shaggy, names because I'll just get twisted. into a drama thing. You get, some yeah, of them you get stuff twisted a lot. Uh, sometimes, but not here. Like, like one of those people, and again, I could name names. I could get into it. It's just not worth my time right now. Not in the mood. There's some suspect fucking history with some of those people. And that'll come up. I'll be vindicated later. 
I will be vindicated yeah, later. So it's, it's they, they not really something they to always right here. I'm not going to die on this hill because I know when the well, I know uh, what the future is bringing on that one. I'm just going to like just mm-hmm. you know I don't need to die on this hill. This hill is going to have an avalanche fall over it. I've not seen the mountain. Suit, Shaggy. <laughs> So here's the thing. Yeah, I you Hold on. Like, in all honesty though, Shaggy. In all honesty, Shaggy. Is Nicolau's not a pedo, so I wasn't referring to him. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's only him I do it for, I don't do it for anyone else. Oh. Well, Ghost of Nicolo can be somewhat of a, a an asshole sometimes, but you know, that schizophrenia is a hell of a drug. Uh, I wish him well with that. I, I'm kidding. I have no idea. I have no idea whether he's schizophrenic or not. I just know that, that the one thing about Ghost I know is that uh, I, I just try and avoid communicating with him too much because when you're that full of shit, it, it's like it's no point. It, it's well, like I, I don't could... know. Uh, wh- I don't. Which I just want to know why you it. waste time with bells. Why? Why do you waste time with bells? Um, most of the time, bubbles ticks and more swab. It's well, what it's now? here's the thing Bell's it, is uh, an infection, a cancer. It, you need to cut it out. But Shaggy, he started like, Oh, well, if I can infiltrate and like inject myself with this cancer, I can then get in there and convince the cancer to motherfucking stop being cancer. And it didn't work, and now he's fucking terminal. No, the answer mm. is exactly this. Since he got banned from his uh, whole house, he's looking for another hall to shag, and he look, he's looked at fucking bells, and he went, I can conquer that. And Queen of Spades turned him down, I hear. Yeah, yeah, Queen of Spades <laughs> got him down. So he wanted something bigger. She turned down. Kind next, of obvious there, right? I, I mean, these jo- <laughs> the, my, my thing is, it's like, these jokes have been made before the last time I was Don't on OK. come on out, Nico. Else. Do it, Shaggy. I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, just taking the like, piss out of uh, being fat, mate. That's it. No, I know. I know. <coughs> um, I, I honestly don't uh, understand what uh, what uh, the beef between you two is, but I know it's a lot of history that, that goes back farther than I really want to dig into the archaeology of the I got a question, though. So, so the deal was, is Suit was from the chat saying that if you don't apologize, you need to be banned from Bell's chat. <clears throat> <clears throat> no, he needs to email oh. suit an apology. Oh, I'll Xerox him my balls. I mean, or, I don't know if or, that's an apology. Or, but... or he gets banned from where? Well, I told, like, as a, you know, I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't, I, like, I told Bells, I don't play these stupid rules. I'm not like, Bells is all worried that I'd be mad at her. If she kicked me from the chat, I'm like, kick me from the chat. I don't give a you fuck. Ignore me, Nico. Like, that's just what a gay ass ready chick suit gives a damn about. That's, that's amazing. I, I don't have it in me to give that much of a fuck about a amazing. Discord server or a chat channel. Mm-hmm. Like, not on my worst fucking day. Yeah, but he it needs is. you to email him so that he has a hard copy that he can then bring up and show look, and look, pick apart is, and take no, I will, I will three hours him, to go sit and spice that. I will give him the same deal and all analyze. of my fans get. For $200, I will send uh, him a picture Don't be of a grifter now. Penis. You fucking sit there and with give Jim shit for being a grifter. It. You're oh, sitting there on, talking about I, wanting money. I, 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 mm-hmm. This is available mm-hmm. to all of my fans. You and Righty too can own this. All of you can own you this. You and Righty for you. You too can own this. For the whole oh, world. For $200. Now. I will send you a picture of my erect penis <laughs> with a bow on it. With a bow. Please and I'll don't even do that. It. I'll even yeah. sign it. I'll what for, Shaggy? I know you've already sent it to someone. So I can just ask them for it. Well, there are many really logos. You already put it out all- there. Look, 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 Righty, I'll be honest with you. There's only two other people who already own this, this oh, item. Is? But I cannot compromise Surfer and Dymo's anonymity, all right? <coughs> I'm going to get Photoshop back. This is about to be my new logo. 
uh, but, it's going but, to be my rhinoceros with a dildo horn and uh, rainbow dude, hair. Can you just stop toxic for once in your life? Let's just embrace not sexualizing hey, every pride, single thing that you BDSM do. Month, no, bro. no. So then be proud in your ability to just be what you are without fucking flashing everybody around you. Yeah, toxic. Jesus. Porn is a very serious business here. It's Pride Month now, toxic. So we, you can come out some other exception, mate. Don't worry. Uh, suits yeah. my, my, my rival's bottom well, friend. Hold on, so hold on. Now, if Suit wants, I can send him the dick pic with, <laughs> with him. Like, uh, 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 am I might be really right. You're so gross. Stop you it. No, like, I'm, being, I'm asking seriously. If you did apologize, what do you think he wants you to apologize for is basically what I'm asking. All I right, know that well, you yeah. don't think you have any idea. reason. Well, if you the... had to guess, knowing Sue, what do you think? Uh, for the fact that... Nah, like, I'm a jade guard. Like, for the really fact that he lost his gun rights because his country is a, is a prison colony again? <laughs> I don't there know. you go. I'm sorry. You live in a fucking uh... left country. I think he wants you to apologize for what you've done to him. Because you called him a pedophile and you bullied him. What have you done to him? I think he wants an an apology for that because you didn't lick his ass. I I, I mean, okay, so since since I have to fucking get in the time travel machine. All right, so from what I remember, uh, we exposed Suit for basically having some really... Really fucked up cartoon porn. And Sorry, Nico. That that was being maybe if you message me. Why around don't you just allegedly as oh, that sounds great. Why don't you just a say joke? That? Am I su- am I supposed Daddy, to apologize you for email it? him and apologize for that right there? Do because it. I'm not sorry I exposed that. If you, you know, if you no, get caught no, doing some, no, sorry. This would be great. Fuck, I'm sorry that I exposed you for uh, sharing pedophilic. Well, then, all uh, right, well, all right. So you know what? Since we've gone time traveling and now we're here in the past, uh, I'm looking at past Shaggy, and I can see that um, <laughs> yeah, no, Shaggy <laughs> got hit first. Yeah, yeah. Past suit. Uh, you know, he banned me first. He went at me first, and I tried to have a civil conversation, and he started acting like swinging his dick around like big man e celebrity. Yes, so, he wanted you, know, you to be humble when you when he allowed you into his community because yeah. what happened was you were on the edges and kind of just doing your usual like jabs at everybody, but then you kind of had a little bit of sympathy towards suit for a second, and so he let you into his community. But once you were in there, you did not behave in the way that he found appropriate. And so he kicked you. And then that's what set you off and made you start looking at things and going, oh, oh, this is red flag, red flag. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, because he came from a community where he should have known better. We didn't fucking tolerate that when it was like, I mean, he came up and it was Matt Jarbo getting fed into a wood Nico, it's Hypa. Dude, what the fuck? Why? How does Nico not know it's me? Nico's forgotten me. Ah! Crush. Well, then she keeps Crush. Inconsolable. Uh, no. If it was Shailen, uh, I would sound like this. If it was Shailen, yeah, it would be more. Yeah, I, I wasn't that. there for that. I had no interest in getting involved in, in, in that. Um, What's the Shailen like, fight? Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I don't. He wanted Shaggy up in there, bottom. Well, no, no, yeah, I, I, I like that. Bottom PC. friendly as fuck, Shaggy. No, and then no, she left the no, you see, uh, you see, the real fun for me ghost is Nicolo. I did not ghost you. <laughs> no, I, 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 um, I, I only, you know, I, I have, I have good taste in simulated porn. I like masturbating to the dead Stop. bodies. Stop! No, no, babies. no, oh. no. Let's going back to talking about something else. So, especially the let's... ghouls. Those really get me off. <laughs> in fairness, though, I'm if you follow the suit, he says war. people should own up. <laughs> yeah, the suit would. always says people should always address their issues and own up for the shit that they've done. How much shit has he fucking dodged that he needs to own up? Because he's got shitloads of hypers said. The fucking yeah. photo. There's fucking shitloads that he needs to own up to. 
Has he ever owned up to anything? Because the only no. thing he done was apologize well, to Bell. Yeah, yeah. So he has real, some real, real, real. big examples like Bell's, and I think there was another time that he flubbed up can, and can he I, came I, out and admitted I'm it. I'm going to do something really unpopular. I'm going to try and actually help Suit by giving him a bit of advice here. The way out <clears> of this <throat> maze of bullshit you're taking for everyone is to shit. fucking forgive and move on. Is to, if you want the past to die, you have to stop digging it up. Right? That's you don't even have to up. bury it. If you let it sit there long enough, it'll bury itself, suit. Like, if you want, like, your fucking internet fucking presence back and to be allowed out of the self-imposed exile into that shitty MMO you've been playing, <coughs> all the fuck you need to do is start making good content and stop addressing the past. Jackie, do you masturbate? Oh, Scooby -Doo? I'm also going to uh, say, Bells and Suits sit there saying, don't go IRL. Fair enough, Retro was a fucking catfish in that. But they were all happy, they were both very happy to go try and get in touch with his employer to ruin his life. So why is that okay for them to do it and not others? Because they're justified. What are you talking about, righty? They That's have I mean. every right. All the things that they do are legitimate. Surfer, no only question. the anime. Only the anime Scooby-Doo. And that's just because Daphne has nice tits. That's, that's what I mean. They have these are principles minute, that I you can't do, but they can. It's like, what? Fair enough, Robert catfished them, yeah, whatever. But you, there's no need to fucking try and get in touch with his employer and then try and get in touch with the girl's picture he took. But Daphne's of age, that's his so responsibility. I up to her too. Well, yeah, like they do a bunch of shady shit or they have somebody they know that they're like, don't worry, I got this. And they'll do that or whatever. Look, look at what they don't do for fucking Queen. No, it, the it's not fucking how many people... job, But they were happy it's enough to fall for the of of Queen. But I've met the chicks from the uh, Scooby-Doo porn parody. I have actually met okay. those chicks. Oh my god. Nice. Shaggy. That's they're nice, not Shaggy. mean. Look they're they're, they're nice in person. Like you'd think they'd Just be mean. Nice, like most people... hey, are they bottom? Yeah, buttons? you know, you know why they're nice. Well, I didn't because have fucking with porn them. stars I literally, like, are human them. beings. Of course, they're yeah. gonna. There's gonna be some that are nice. There's gonna be some that are bitches. There's gonna be some well, that are not, yeah, hard but, workers. But, but like, yeah. <laughs> but here's the thing. Like, uh, I uh, the the you, the reason you expect people to be. Like, oh, you when met... you're actually involved in the porn industry to that degree, you'd expect them to act sort of like snobs, because she's not just some chick like... who was seen naked. Like, those girls, like, apparently, like, they were doing a book signing or, or something, yeah. or, or something. I don't think it was a book signing. I don't know what the fuck they were doing. No. But, but, uh, if you're in the sex snob. industry, you're going to be probably more inclined to being good listeners, because if nothing else, if you're going to be a good sex worker, you're either going to be a good performer well, I didn't have the balls to talk to them, but my friend went up and started talking to them because yeah, he's autistic as fuck, right? Yeah, for Shaggy, why would and a porn star like, be a snob when you've seen everything, when they've had everything laid bare on video? There's no reason to be a snob. It's well, mainly Hollywood like, actors that are snobs. Porn stars don't get paid that much. I don't know. They were at some sort of fuck. There, there was something fucking like. I'm not going to say where we were, but. They were at. They were doing something in line with like something, right? And like <coughs> there was a guest a in the line and shit. Mm -hmm. It was a, it was some sort of convention, yeah. And yeah, I, uh, convention I, in America. Let's just be uh, honest. We know where you. We know where you was, so it's okay. Go on. Anyway, no, I, I have <laughs> met those chicks. Um, I don't really want to get into the context of how I met them, but I have met them. They're nice. It's fucking adult conventions. Don't worry about it. No one cares. So, um, why are you wasting your time with Bells? Because you didn't, still didn't. Uh, want to, well, want I'm to an say easy person to be friend. Easy. If you're not fucked up with me, I'm not going to be fucked up to you. But she, okay. But she but, has done fucked yeah. up shit to you. But and the she truth has is, said fucked. She has said fucked up shit about you. Yeah, true. But the truth is, he thinks he can save her from paganism. Yeah, that's I another thing. I... It's, uh... mm. And, and I want to say that. this. Um, when I met those girls, I was not even a Mormon. This was a long damn time ago. 
I am purposely to trying to change the subject. My God, <laughs> Shaggy, you've, you've met porn stars. What's for you? But you, just, you said you couldn't go over and speak, speak to them, so you didn't really meet them. No, so, and I didn't get to fuck no, them either. I'm not, it's okay it's okay not, not, it really from wasn't afar. worth bragging. Yeah. About. Polite too. Like, I'd rather like have it, someone like, panting from afar than like right up by my ear. Like, ugh. There you go. So that's what that's why he's forgiven he's being social with bells is because he thinks the only he reason I bring it up is because I uh fucking mud flaps yeah. are warm. Why don't you two come up here since you have so many questions? Hmm? <sighs> Look, I um I don't have a problem I don't have a problem with uh fucking I don't have a fucking Issue I have no with problem it. with you. I'm just, I just think that it is. I'm, sorry, I'm really uh, strong. It's going, I, I, I... No, no, no. It's okay. I just, the only reason I keep <laughs> asking is because I think that you are wasting your time because she isn't going to really intake any of the shit mm. that you try to give to her. She's going to play like she does. So it's it not even about convert. Not even the conversion. He's just. I just mean in a way that he cares for people to not be completely miserable. So okay. he tries to maybe say things that are uplifting or whatever. <clears throat> I'm trying to tell you that you're going to just be wasting <clears throat> your time because what she really wants is just kudo points in suits world by mm. getting you to come <clears throat> and give apologies. Mm. Yeah. But it uh, wasn't yeah. that long ago, well, Shaggy. I mean, she was attacking you for all the stuff okay, that happened so to you when you were fired. Worry about that because, he, like, at, at, at the same time, like, mm. I hold on. Uh, mm. let, let me just like arrange my thoughts so it doesn't come out as yeah. No, up no, no. It's salad. okay. That's all right. Um, like. I'm not going to fucking say something I don't believe, no matter how much I like or dislike you. Um, so it, it doesn't matter how uh, on what uh, on how good terms I am with Bells. I'm not going to apologize for something uh, to give her a gift or some sort of tribute because, as I've explained, I know which is times, why I'm saying it's a waste and, of time. And I know that she she does operate, and I'll say this openly, where even she will hear it. Uh, I believe she's involved in a culture where these apologies and such are used as a form of social currency. I believe that's partially why she often has to be afraid that people she cares about will uh, betray or abandon her when she ha is uh, befriends or associates with people that those people don't like. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I, I am willing to be her friend. What I am not willing to do is uh, immediately be friends with everyone she is friends with because I am her friend. So just because I have nothing against her doesn't mean that suddenly I'm looking to be all buddy-buddy with Suit or any of the people. I might still have a huge problem with that. Okay. It's just Sorry. that I no longer have any reason to uh, go at uh, Bells personally. And to me, uh, Bells is is one individual. I, I don't... Uh, <laughs> No, I wasn't really Wait, even willing Shaggy, to do the set. Shaggy. Sh I don't think. Sh 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 yeah, it's not really him. I, I fell for that one once. You don't That's know Shaggy. that. It could be him. Show some fucking respect. You're right. Okay. You're right. Shaggy, you're right. You need to bend the knee, Shaggy. I am awaiting that 1,000 word apology. It used to be 500 words. Now it's 1,000 words. <laughs> you can send it to my email. <laughs> Suit yourself at gmail.com. <laughs> Context I'm not going to tell you you can be friends Context with me, matters. but be careful with, with her. Just don't tell her too much shit, personal shit. Everybody knows that you're the, the one that did something wrong, I, Shaggy. Have you seen my channel? You try my to define me. Just keep flaunting my personal shit. Like, everyone knows my personal shit. I yeah, just I know. No, you're gonna, asked, she's going to use that against you, or she's well, going to. The whole think internet that she now can. knows that I've that I've been to a porno convention. That's that's like yeah. pretty fucking <laughs> bad. And well, I didn't even mean that's to that's reveal that's that, that. But e everyone I, knows that it's a competition, and Bells loves me more than you, Shaggy. You need to yeah, get well, over it. How could she Start not? How could apology. she not? You're yeah. you're the internet celebrity uh, suit. You're an internet celebrity. We everyone loves you. So much I mean, well, it's because so much I am high IQ. I have 165. 
IQ. I looked it up in a book. It told me so. <laughs> well, I'm just a Mormon moron, so I mean. Well, that's it. That's why Bells loves me more. Sue, so why do you want and, an and, apology from and Shaggy? Like swatting, because why do you context do you, why? context matters, uh-huh. and that's that's all. That's context matters is like my life motto. <laughs> it's it's the most important day. thing for you. It's, it's the, the most, most important. important. That's right. <laughs> hey, I'm out of your pain. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Hey, hey. Uh, Shaggy, she said that Bell said that next time you're on this stream, she ought to come over here and stand up for you in virtue signal. What do you say about that? Oh, for a second, I was like, she really, and then I was like, no. Yeah, she said, I gotta come on there and come in the chat. If it's a real question, I've told her in private, she shouldn't stand up for me, not to go to bat for me. The people who go at me are, um, I, with, with, with very few exceptions, uh, all of my detractors are pedophiles and scum. People who don't like Shaggy, that there's like perfect. a cosmic I'm rule. No, hold on. That one. All there, of there's my a cosmic rule. Are pedophiles. That's hold on, hold so, yeah, on. dude. This sounds like it needs to be on a T-shirt. I'm, like I'm just, I would just like to point out that's against I'm, me. That my, I yeah, suit I'm yourself. Do not, not like one. Shaggy. I suit yourself. Do not like Shaggy. I'm just pointing that out. Just after you made that statement. But the law, of, the law of the cosmos is, and this is just as true as one plus one equaling two. This is like math. Uh, is that the people who don't like me are pedophiles or are bad guys? Like this only Nico, bad guys. Wait, 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 Shaggy. Nico's not a pedophile or a bad guy. And there's been you times know? I don't you like need to you. Prove. I'm not a pedophile or a bad guy. You need no, to stop those times you become pedophile. evil hyper. Like, there's this thing that happens, like, in an anime, when people don't like me, they become evil. It's, uh, I it's don't yeah. know what you're talking about. Well, I well, am you didn't a need, you didn't sweet read, and innocent. You didn't I, am the... an, I am a saint, sir. I, I would just saint. like to point out that this person here, Shaggy, made me cry today in Bill's DMs and made her <laughs> shut down the street. And Shaggy's such a high intellectual. I'm not saying that I'm always team good. I'm just saying that people who are against me are always team You're a bad. wizard. Okay? You're a wizard, Shaggy. Yeah, Shaggy, Shaggy, you Dark bought a wand. You bought a wizard the staff. I thought He's you just bought like a walking kid, staff. You bought a wizard, wizard staff, yo? No, I bought a, a, a walking stick with an axe at the end. Did you see it? No, I, I heard that you bought like this wizard staff or something. What? Yeah, no, I, I heard uh, it was a magical one. Uh, I was just uh, making people buy ones. <laughs> you know, I bought, I bought a one uh, to, uh, it's what really okay. to a, uh, Everybody should do it. I bought a lethal weapon. I bought a, a axe, basically, an axe that can be used as a cane. Uh, I bought an axe for geriatric people. I've also bought a lot of weapons. I've been wasting all my money on weapons. Why? Why? No. See, this is the midlife crisis thing that I was telling you about. Uh, what are you going to do with all that? Back to the money. This is back to the money. I, I'm, going before, to, I'm going to place them around the chair that I sit in. Oh, and, my Lord. Shaggy. And, yeah, it's it's very midlife crisis. Yeah, but this uh, is a lot better than what you was doing, well, Shaggy. I, I'm not saying that it's necessarily death. bad to have a focus. It's good. It's good, but mm, you don't have like, a focus with it. Right, You're just so like randomly is, buying things. Like, I lost my why job, don't you start get, going get, out into the bush and making bushcraft videos with all those badass and, weapons that you bought? That would well, be fun. Oh my god, Shaggy, do it. Go out to. into the woods and do like videos where you're like building stupid shit well, for the fucking bushcraft. Is, and then, oh, that'd be so much fun to watch. I, I would watch know. that. One hundred percent. Practice his ninja skills while he's at it. Yes. Yeah. Three, he's and pretty build good. Shelters. Remember the stone king song. Oh my god, it'd be so great! Please, Shaggy, 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 please. Uh, I I intend to go into the park and fuck up trees with the items I've bought and upload that. Uh, make sure that they're ones that are like dying you trees. Don't fuck up healthy trees, ones, Shaggy. okay? Well, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of dead trees. The park is very poorly maintained. Well, but um, you you'll like, be a helper. Uh, 
but while yeah, making I mean, yourself extra cool with your weapons. The reason I'm buying all this stupid <laughs> is not this drinking. Like, <laughs> You're not going to be threatening at all <laughs> in a park. Throwing oh, his weapons at a tree. I, 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 I admit, think he means <laughs> it's a little bit <laughs> like a nature minor, park, not like a, a minor relapse tonight on the marijuana. I'm getting kind of stoned right now, but uh, I have stopped drinking. <laughs> I That's have good. I'm proud of you. As a result of that, uh, I've been buying myself piles of toys, and by toys I mean weapons. I've been buying a lot right, of Right, Daldi? That's you're what buying, I'm saying. Been, See? You've been Daldi, buying stuff that's actually the, worth buying. The people speak. They what say they buy? want this video too. What, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to go in there and, and start a bonfire? I can do that. Yeah, mm, control, don't zone. start a forest fire. But yes, as if you want to do that, you have to use all your weapons. Or it has to be video by video. So that you can show weapons, us all the, the pros and cons of each weapon. Hyper. If I walk out there with all my weapons. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be gonna so gonna threatening. That's what the <laughs> I'm going to get arrested before I get through the park. I That's mean, why I said do that. one video. So like your wand axe thing. You can take that out into the woods and show us all the cool shit that you can There's do in the woods. There's nothing wand-like about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Exciting. Your staff, your staff axe, whatever it's. I call it the pain cane. It's the pimp the cane. The pain you... cane. Yeah, it's the pimp oh, cane for when you need to straight up murder. Such a. <laughs> 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 oh, you were uh... such a goober. Shaggy, please do these videos. This would be so entertaining, and I think it as would be good for you to get some vitamin D. Suit yourself because that's the worst fencing thing that streams. Can do. See, Kino Corner has another good fucking idea. That's two fucking. That's more than two. That's I don't know how many weapons you have. Uh, so yeah, yeah, however uh, many uh, weapons you have, that yeah, many not, videos there's no and way a I'm fencing all the stream. fucking weapons into the park. That would look like I don't. I, was I to just do said you're not going to take every single weapon. One at, at a time. time. Yeah. One. He at should a time, do. Like, Oh, one at a time. Yeah, I thought strings. you meant just like drag all the weapons to the no. park. I, was be like, no. I, thought, That's a great I mean, way there was that. <laughs> that no, was no, a no, bit no. for I a second, one. but Shaggy <laughs> goes around as a Mormon and knocks on people's doors and tells them about how great Mormonism is while on stream with his phone. No, no, that is no. That's somehow sacrilege. That's somehow sacrilege. Because those. No, I am high IQ. That's a great idea. You are not suit. You are not a high IQ person. Yes, no, I no. <laughs> I did a tape no, course. Not. You should know you dox it. I have a great idea, guys. Great idea. Yeah. What if okay. I go to bars and I buy women drinks and I put stuff in their drinks that make uh, them fall asleep? And let's then when they're not, asleep, let's go back to the really I, good idea I, of going I, into the woods where you're not interacting you're with the public. Yeah, don't Stop take it. into the woods. Shaggy. Why do we so always go back to rapey stuff? He just wants to teach him <laughs> rapier moves, okay? Yeah, but why do we always go back to rape? <laughs> well, because it's romantic. Maybe for the more <laughs> minutes, yeah. <laughs> Fuck it out. Strangers in the night. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Getting molested. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what I'd have to say? It sounds to me like Shaggy's taking romance tutorials from the Supreme Gentleman, uh, Elliot Rogers, here. Please I'm don't. Teach Shaggy That's not even funny. How to My woo idea is a much woman. Better. This is too much. Even. <laughs> Shaggy, no, no. Bushcraft Shaggy is the way to go, and then fencing stream yeah, bush Shaggy. Rapist, Shaggy. Yeah. Not bush rapist. No rapey. No raping. There's none of that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Upload myself bush raping, and then do poetry. No. <laughs> if it was an actual bush, that would be kind of funny. <laughs> Stop. Just imagine you could hurt yourself. Along. And you just or, or better yet, dude, better yet, raping a tree. What, what, guys, guys, guys <laughs> camera, like, just, just, just tell me what you think of this idea. It's really fucked up, but like, I mean, like, I, I do a skit where it's like an incompetent rapist, where it's like, what? I'm hiding in the <laughs> what? documenting the rape, 
And then I attack the girl, who's of course an actor. This is even my ass. This is toxic level of silliness. Like, like, what if I was like a hundred and ten pound rapist getting my ass kicked by every girl I try and force myself on? That would actually be kind of funny. It would be pretty funny, right? (coughs) Yes. The problem is the audience is so fucking stupid. They'd report it to the police, and and like I'd have to have these women come in and explain, no, he's not a rapist. He's a He's a retard on YouTube who gave me 20 bucks to punch him in the don't, face. Couldn't you do one of those things? Don't they do those things before, like, aggressive porns where the girl's, like, sitting there gonna, with the like, people yeah, and they're like, I mean, hey, what? I'm totally fine with whatever's about to happen. Yes, I know that this and this and this and yeah, this and this good. You know, Are you blah, blah, blah? Yeah, I am. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I, 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 I like to be you, honest. You should know what hyper watches. If if I if I, I had don't no, <laughs> like, I had to all about it. Like, no, like, it, would, it would kill the vibe of actually creating it. I, I don't want to have to have people sign weird ass shit before we go and have fun. Well, then don't make me, that know. stuff. Don't make that stuff. Then okay, let's just not do that stuff and just well, no you can't do that stuff. Make it's creative. Not, I want to see you fighting funny. trees in the woods. Okay. Show me the weapons that you've gotten. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I, I can definitely go out there. Like most of the the swords I've bought can be used to cut down trees. Go and cut a tree down. Well, let's see it. No, no, false. Swords to cut yeah. down trees. See, oh yeah, it's, 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 uh, no, I can. Uh, no, most of them have a no. saw on the back. See, oh, well, it. then they're not a sword. Well, yeah. they're all right. So a lot of them are these fancy ass fucking swords, like the Bushmaster. The Bushman, I'm sorry, Jungle Master. The Bushmaster is like three thousand bucks. I bought the knockoff version. The Jungle Master can be used as a saw. Nice. Okay. You can't chop a tree, a tree down with a sword. It is possible. Yeah. Yeah, but you're gonna one. You're gonna fuck up your sword. It's gonna well, yeah, fuck up the balance. Of your, back. So you don't. Okay, so it's, it's a one, a sword one side is a blade and the other side sword is, 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 two, a saw. is a double edged sword. Yeah. yeah, one side is a blade, the other is a saw. So one side you, is, is so slicing, not... the other is for saw. No, That's just an oversized kitchen knife, like for meat cutting. Guys, I gotta <laughs> end this stream. I gotta go. No! Fuckers. No! Yeah. You can play and leave this on. What are you doing? I need to distract We're having an in-depth conversation hurts. about weaponry, okay? It's important. We're having a fucking conversation here about what hyper likes and porn and weaponry. No, we're not having that conversation. Okay, yeah, you know what? Let's end it. We're ending it. That's fine. Toxic needs to go play his game, okay? <laughs> There's only two more weeks left of bottom friendly pride. I don't okay. want to know what that means. Okay, Toxic. Need Thanks like for coming up. Butt. Congratulations. Congratulations for coming out, Toxic. I support everything you do. It. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Anyway, like, before the stream ends, if you want a picture of my cock with a no. red ribbon... Oh, yeah. No! Okay, that's my... I'm gonna just maybe exit the stream. Maybe just stop talking about it. He's doing a one-time special offer of £199. Let me ask you a question before we go. I have a fishing pole, like the tip of a fishing pole. And uh, it's for my cat. He likes to play with it. Usually I have a little mouse on a little piece of string. And it broke off. So now I'm just kind of playing with him like it's a rapier. So you could say I'm rapiering my cat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you later. See you later. Bye. See you. Weirdos. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. Bye. Yeah, and then bail. <laughs>